the New Day, Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin, Rusev and Aiden English will all do battle. Rusev Day is here! <laughs> We've got a triple threat match for the United States Championship as Baron Corbin takes on Bobby Roode and Dolph Ziggler. That's all going down here tonight, triple threat action. And it's not just about titles. You've seen it play out over six months. Tonight it comes to a head as Breezango goes uh, two on two with the Bludgeon Brothers uh, in a match that is, is the result of six months of fashion files wow. build up. I can't wait. Finally the payoff. Final. But then we have Randy Orton who's going to team with Jinsuke Nakamura to take on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Now you're going to have Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan as special guest referees. But as if that wasn't enough. If Sammy and Kevin lose, they will be fired from the WWE. So, will the Viper and WWE's Rockstar cancel the Kevin and Sammy show for good? I don't know, but we'll break this match down next. WWE Clash of Champions is available now on iTunes and Spotify. Moving on here to tonight's main event, the Vipers teaming up with the artist to take on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn with two very special guest referees. Now, should KO and Zayn lose, they will be fired from all of WWE, a job they fought their entire careers to secure the decision in the hands of a man who has a big say in this matchup. I'm so very proud of the entire SmackDown roster, except for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Let me remind you, Kevin Owens beat my father unmercifully in this ring. Oh my God! Let me remind you that it was Sami Zayn who got involved in my Hell in a Cell match. Shane McMahon wants to make sure Kevin Owens never competes again. Shane, oh my God! Let me remind you that those two individuals betrayed the entire SmackDown roster. What are they doing? Pedigree! The commissioner of SmackDown Live, Shane McMahon, can't get over the fact that at Survivor Series, he led Team SmackDown to failure. Well, that makes what I'm about to say actually quite easy. I'm gonna deliver two words to you guys. Your... Hold on, Shane, hold on. I think I have a better temporary solution. One-on-one -on -one matchup between Randy Orton and Sami Zayn. However, Kevin Owens is handcuffed to the bottom ring rope. Boom! Oh, no, 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 look out! Sami Zayn for a line! Sami Zayn's body just crushed. So that's it. You're done punishing him, right? Oh, we got a jailbreak! These guys? Owens is free! After all they've done? Oh! And Kevin Owens from behind! This is where Owens and Zane thrive. Two on one advantage. No, no, no. I'm just getting warmed up. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to take on the Viper, Randy Orton, and... didn't say when I made the tag team match for Clash of Champions is that I'm going to be the special guest referee. And if Kevin and Sammy lose, 
Well, then they are done. I am fired. And not just from SmackDown. All of WWE. Do you know why he made himself special guest referee? He is going to screw us. Yep. Shane McMahon is the worst McMahon of them all. Yep. Not that Shane wouldn't, but I am going to make sure that your match this Sunday is fair. There will be a second guest referee, and that man is me. For nine months now on SmackDown Live, we, we have been scrutinized and, and degraded. Yep. After all they've done to everybody? We have been treated unfairly. And if Kevin and Sammy lose, then they are done. I am fired. All right, we got a lot to discuss here with this matchup. A lot of moving parts, but I think first things first, imagining on the other side of this that if Sammy and Kevin Owens don't You just matchup, made the list! What does WWE and its entire landscape look like without these two key players? Well, there's probably a lot less chaos, right? That's something that uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn have, have interjected, especially after Survivor Series. But sure. chaos can be a good thing, though. I That's think true. there's going to be for a gaping hole. For people watching, certainly. Yeah, yeah for us, it's I love it. <laughs> I love it. You I just, do love it. I love seeing what Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn bring. I would just imagine that if you were trying to manage them, it wouldn't be the easiest thing in the world. Lucky for me, I don't have to manage them. I you just get to not. watch them. You get to watch and talk but, about but them. But think about this, too, though. What kind of pressure does that put on Kevin and Sami? I mean, they've worked their entire lives to make it here. That's how they became best friends. Now, everything could go up in smoke if they lose tonight. Um, so we actually have some tweets that we can pull up from Daniel Bryan first. It kind of alludes to some of this, and we can elaborate on it a little bit later. Uh, we have this one tweet from Daniel Bryan saying, I've been getting a lot of questions about my decision from SmackDown Live. I've been asked where my loyalty lies when I step into the ring at Clash uh, uh, to protect the future of SmackDown Live for the WWE Universe, something Shane McMahon and I definitely agree on. Now, a follow-up to that is this tweet from Kevin Owens. <laughs> we know that you'll do the right thing. See you, son. Day, yep, 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 a hundred times over. You didn't read them all. He really I, is taking advantage well, of the Well, he copy and pasted characters. too, which I get. But, uh, you know, looking at, at Kevin Owens, do you think that he thinks that Daniel Bryan's on their side going into this? Do you think he's keeping that in his back pocket? He may think that Daniel Bryan, if he's not already on their side, is winnable. I mean, you talk about Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn coming up together. Daniel Bryan was right you there You just made him. the list! When you talk about stuff that happened before we were in this SmackDown circle, mm. It involved all three of those guys. They all came from the same spot. Yeah, they that, did. That's true, but I was going to say this. In knowing Daniel Bryan personally, he is a man of great integrity. And I personally believe he's trying to preserve the integrity of SmackDown Live and will do the right thing. Not what Kevin Owens thinks it is, but by being fair and impartial. Integrity is amazing, but you know, you step into the ring and we're talking Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. They're stepping in against Randy Orton and Shinsuke Nakamura, two of the best superstars in all of WWE, so that's a tall order in itself. And as I've been watching, and I talked about this, you know, months ago, yeah. where Nakamura lied in the SmackDown playing field, I think this is the best Nakamura that we have seen since arriving on SmackDown. Certainly. He, he's, he's found his own and he's amazing. So we are moments away from going live here in the WWE Network. Who's going to be walking out of this gigantic matchup? The champions, are we still going to have Sammy and Kevin in WWE at the end of this? As amazing as Nakamura is right now, as great as Randy Orton is, I don't think Kevin yeah. Owens and Sami Zayn will allow their careers to end. All right. Well, as we get set here, as I said, we're moments away. We've got this man, Bobby Roode, getting ready to step into the ring for that United States Championship. He's going to be going up against in-ring veteran Dolph Ziggler. This is a triple threat match, of course, and the man who is currently holding on to this championship, Baron Corbin. We do know that they're going to be kicking off all of Clash of Champions. It is now time. Get on over to the WWE Network. We've got a hell of a night ahead of us. We'll see you guys on the other side. Champions aren't born. They're made, built from conflict, forged from triumph. One night, all will be defended or lost. Because for every battle, there can be only one.
the journey towards championship glory never ends. For every victory leads to new challengers, and every challenger leads to new obstacles. But some obstacles we never see coming. The Raw and SmackDown teams squaring off across the ring from one another. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, what are they doing? This is outrageous. SmackDown Live was well on their way to winning. They screwed over their entire roster. Raw wins Survivor Series. Welcome to the Sami and Kevin Show. The two of you have no respect. No respect. <laughs> Gotta wonder what kind of repercussions await Kevin and Sami at the Clash of Champions. Sami Zayn, you will be teaming up with Kevin Owens to take on Randy Orton and Shinsuke Nakamura. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn will be fired if they don't win. Shane McMahon, the referee, can you stack the odds against them anymore? I'm going to prove tonight. There will be a second guest referee, and that man is me. Two referees inside one ring. All will be defended or lost. Every championship is up for grabs tonight. True champion. On this journey. This is all I have wanted every single day. I'm taking back my title, Queenie. You can imagine what combustible elements you'll have at ringside in a lumberjack match. Chaos inside and outside of the ring. I am coming for my WWE Championship. Oh, there's Craig Styles on the side of the face. <laughs> this is my championship. Come down here and take it from me. This clash. What actually happens with two referees? It has never happened before. Careers are on the line. Of champions. So come on, gentlemen, give me a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyone in Boston not named Byron Saxton, please. <laughs> cute, real cute. Bobby Roode took to Twitter earlier today to say tonight is a chance to be a part of something special and great. That is the lineage of the United States Championship. You think about the greats in this sport, Ricky Steamboat to Steve Austin, all the men that have proudly worn the United States Championship. Bobby Roode wants his name right along that list of greats. This is a night where every SmackDown Championship will be defended here tonight at Clash of Champions. Tom Phillips along with Corey Graves and Byron Saxon. We kick off the night with a triple threat match for the United States Championship. The important thing to remember is Baron Corbin doesn't even have to be defeated in the fall to lose his championship. You just made the list! Next, residing in Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler! And 
just like that, things come to a grinding halt. That was kind of the feeling when the news broke on social media that Dolph Ziggler will be added to this triple threat match, which then spurred some one-on-one -on -one matches, namely two weeks ago, Rude versus Baron Corbin, the champion. Yeah, Dolph Ziggler was at ringside, uh, decided to take a closer look and make a very physical statement in the process. A lot of questions whether or not Ziggler belonged in this match. Oh, no. The questions would be answered or more were raised the following week when Bobby Roode would do much of the same as turn about his fair play during a match with Dolph Ziggler and Baron Corbin. The match got glorious. All about building momentum and leaving a blasting memory, in this case, a glorious DDT from Bobby Roode to Dolph Ziggler. Oh, and then the champion will look to battle back here in this war of attacks, and it was Bobby Roode who managed to stand tall with two opponents looming for here tonight in Boston. Dolph Ziggler and Bobby Roode, a history between these two, the second that Bobby Roode arrived on SmackDown Live. And from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, here's the United States Champion, Baron Corbin! Despite the odds being stacked against Baron Corbin, the Lone Wolf is a man with a lot to be proud of right now. The proud United States Champion woke up this morning in a five-star suite with the United States title in a Rolex. Baron Corbin's about getting paid tonight. The WWE Universe paying very close attention to this match and all of Clash of Champions. With that, we are joined here at ringside by our Spanish announced team, Carlos Cabrera and Marcelo Rodriguez. Gracias a Phillips, a todos en los campeonatos de SmackDown Live en juego hoy. Feliz año nuevo y gracias por acompañarnos en Ilusión 17. Feliz año cuando las carreras de Sami y las carreras de Kevin están en peligro. Hay que gritar, yup, yup, eso es lo que importa. Yup, 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 yup. Y nuestro German announcer, Calvin Kenny y Tim Haber. Clash of Champions, es steht heute Abend jeder Titel auf dem Spiel. Und ist es heute der letzte Abend von Kevin Owens und Sami Zayn. I'd like to congratulate Calvin on his 11th birthday. Because we are set here for this triple threat match for the United States Championship to kick things off here at Clash of Champions. And again, a one in third chance of Baron Corbin even walking out of this matchup, still United States Champion. You know, for a long time, that uh, United States Championship was seen as a beacon of hope here in WWE. We saw a number of open challenges, but the moment Corbin won that championship, it all came to an end. New Year's Day will mark the 43rd anniversary of the United States title. Harley Race back in 1975, winning the first United States Championship. Oh, wait. Look at this. Could find himself outnumbered here in the early goings. Again, look at Ziggler and Rude trying to back Corbin in the corner here. And Rude and Ziggler, you see some odd alliances in these matchups. It's almost a necessity in a situation like this. Temporary alliances that keep your head on a swivel. Remember, no disqualifications, no count outs, any triple threat match. The action can go anywhere. Corbin, speaking of anywhere, sent outside the barricade into the WWE Universe. Meanwhile, back inside, it's Rude and Ziggler. I didn't expect that alliance to last long. Remind you remember when Bobby Rude first showed up on the scene, Dolph Ziggler, oh, said he was just an entrance. Yeah, that, uh, uh oh, wait a minute, oh, oh. Rude, Rude trying to put it away early. Ziggler able to, uh -oh, uh -oh. now a cover and a kick out. These two know each other extremely well. It also shows how much of a threat Rude and Ziggler feel Baron Corbin truly is. Side rush and leg sweep off the inverted atomic Beautiful. drop. Now the cover and a kick out. And Bobby Roode and Dolph Ziggler, great to your point, have a great opportunity here by themselves inside the ring. Oh, and now Roode sent outside. The question is, how long will Corbin remain isolated? You know the lone wolf. Oh, 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 oh not go for it. <laughs> A hellacious clothesline just took Rude's head on. Had about a 30-second window and re-entered the lone wolf. Now look out. And now Ziggler. Boom! Oh. Hey, guys, let's not forget how Corbin won the United States Championship in the first place. An impromptu triple threat match at Hell in a Cell with Ty Dillinger and then champion AJ Styles. Oh. In many ways, that United States Championship was redemption for Corbin, who lost his money in the bank contract. Well, failed to cash it in uh, successfully, rather, Byron. 
Ever since then, Baron Corbin's trying to shove it in everybody's face. Said on Facebook earlier today, I'm the star in this matchup. Well, listen to me, you gotta respect Baron Corbin's mindset right now, but oh! Rude's a guy who's done just about everything all over the globe. Oh! Can he continue here in WWE? We'll see. Oh, a straight right hand there by How Baron you Corbin. Now? That is everything you need to know about Baron Corbin. Only concerned about himself and his well-being. Baron Corbin thrives on the disdain of the WWE Universe. It fuels Corbin. And now Corbin looking to take his time here with Bobby Roode. Oh, oh his triple threat. Match. You just made the list. Uh, 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 Corbin just staring a hole through the glorious one. Uh, you know how much this matchup means to Bobby Roode, how much he wanted to take the storied history of the United States title and take that prestige to another level. Well, Baron Corbin's a guy who doesn't care about the history or the prestige of the United States title. It's a paycheck. It's a trophy. Uh, uh, One more on the shelf ridiculous. of life. Call that the prestige of Baron Corbin if you ask him. And now Corbin is able to slow this match down to a halt. Corbin is taking his time, leaving Root back inside the ring. This is smart by Corbin. Taking advantage of Ziggler. Oh, he's down! Oh, spine first into the barricade. Like, there's so many pitfalls in a triple threat match. So many opportunities when you're... Like, you just you made the list! You. How do you stay on top of all of them? Just like Baron Corbin just did. Even though Dolph Ziggler was arguably down for a moment, Baron made sure he stayed down. Oh, that opened up the door for Bobby Root now to... Somehow get something going in this match. Now Rude. Uh oh. Oh! Thunderous side slam. Hook to the leg here on Bobby Rude and broken up by Ziggler. And Byron, we talked about it. People questioning whether or not Dolph Ziggler belonged in this matchup. Oh! Two time World Heavyweight Champion, former United States Champion in his own right. Yeah, it's nobody's business to question whether or not Dolph belongs in this match. The guy's got a list of accolades longer than Byron's letter to Santa. It's impressive. Dolph may be the greatest in ring performer of all time. You never saw my letter, by the way. Wait a minute. Look at Corbin. Corbin on the move here. Oh, and he took out Ziggler. Wasn't the intended target, I don't believe, but I don't think Corbin would take it back. Bobby Roode just dodged catastrophe perhaps here in this match, and he's still alive. Yeah. Oh! Your head constantly has to be honest. You story. just made the list! Oh! And where your opponent is. And now Bobby Roode has got some momentum here against Corbin. Oh! It's the boots up right in the face there, Baron Corbin. Now Bobby Roode with the second rope. And the United States champion here with a blockbuster. Bobby can have him here. Cover by Roode and a kick out. All of this for the United States Championship here tonight at Clash of Champions. Corbin doing the wise thing, rolling to the outside, but also takes him out of the match momentarily. Uh oh, wait a minute. Segler from behind went for the zigzag. Oh, and Bobby Roode cut them down. And here comes Roode. Oh, sharp elbow there by Dolph Ziggler. This is a situation Corbin wants to be cautious of. Baron Corbin's at risk of losing his championship right now. He's not even in the ring. Now Bob Roode setting up Ziggler. Oh, Ziggler just too quick there. Chopped right to the knee. knee. And the famous Arcanx this New time. New champion. Cover. Dolph's going to do it. Cover by Ziggler. Corbin there in the nick of time. Once again, Corbin manages to save his championship in the nick of time. Great show of veteran ring awareness by Dolph Ziggler. Realized Roode had tweaked his knee, and Dolph wasted no time attacking it. But what a display of speed by the six foot seven Baron Corbin, making it all the way to the ring to save his championship. It's like Corbin's had enough. He wants to put this thing away. Yeah! Look at Baron Corbin poised and ready to strike on Bobby Roode. And now Dolph Ziggler. How's this for strategy? Just beat up both your opponents simultaneously. Oh, <laughs> or get beat up. Baron's still on his feet. Off the drop kick, and now look at Bobby Roode. Wow. Uh -oh, oh, deep six. Cover here by Corbin. This could do it, oh. Bobby Roode. Oh, oh, oh. Boy, was that close.
Corbin felt it too. Corbin felt Bobby Roode was done. This is where the conditioning of all three men can come into play. The longer this match goes, to isolate two opponents. Baron Corbin with a wicked deep six. And he's less than a half a pound away from the lone wolf retaining. That's the kind of quick strike ability that's brought Baron Corbin so much success here on SmackDown Live. Boston trying to rally behind the glorious one. Yeah. And now Corbin trying to plant Bobby Roode here up on the top turnbuckle. What is the United States champion thinking here? This is unfamiliar territory for Corbin. You don't see him go up to the ropes too often. Oh. And they end up backfiring too. Bobby Roode firing away. And Bobby Roode able to get Corbin now for a moment. Oh, oh wait a minute. Gosh. Sagler, how quick was that? Jumped right up into the corner. Now trying to pry Roode off of the top turnbuckle. And Roode going to have to try and, or rather, Sagler trying to do it the hard way. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we got company. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Corbin. Oh. Cover, Corbin. Cover. I don't know if Corbin's able to capitalize on the moment. This is the best opportunity Barron's had to retain. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, right on the Ziggler to retain his title. Oh, and a kick out. That was instinct alone from Dolph. And an open Bobby, body there on Bobby Roode. Shoots the half. Here's the cover and a kick out. Baron Corbin needs to stay the course. He can't let doubt creep in. Look at this monstrous powerbomb superplex combination. Baron Corbin two times nearly ending this thing that might have been the best opportunity that corbin has had in this match to win there's no might have been about it byron it absolutely was can baron keep his foot on the gas pedal now corbin in command here this triple threat yeah. match oh they got sigler right where he wants him yeah. oh, thought about that choke slam backbreaker yeah. now sigler oh. able to into the post. Ziggler seems to have Corbin's number when it comes to that particular situation. And Corbin is outside the ring, guys, and Ziggler realizes how golden of opportunity this is. How golden, how perfect for Dolph Ziggler. Bobby Roode has no idea what's coming. Dolph Ziggler tuning up the band a la HBK. Oh, went for the super kick. Oh. Bobby Roode oh. spine buster. Uh-oh, Rude is feeling it. Rude may be on the verge of feeling the United States Championship. Bobby Rude went for the glorious DDT. There's a DDT from Ziggler. Can he win the title here? Hook to the inside leg oh. and a kick out. Oh, so close. Dolph Ziggler with a fantastic counter to Rude's own glorious DDT. Take another look at this. Bobby had this thing all but one, but Dolph, just too much left. Lance Bobby, but it would not prove to be quite enough. And Rude just on instant, got the left shoulder off the mat. This triple threat continues, and oh, look, look who's, who's back. Here. Look who's here to pick up the pieces, Corbin. So trying to get rid of Dolph. Trying to maintain the, the ring here, trying to send Ziggler out. Oh no. Corbin. Just too much momentum set up at the top rope. Now Bobby Roode and Ziggler. Oh, went for the super kick. Yeah. Look at Roode. Oh! oh! Into the turnbuckle. If Roode can finish this off, we're going to have a new United States champion. Bobby Roode. about to do it. Glorious DDT. Bobby Roode, wait a minute. Corbin plays sport. No, no, no. There goes Corbin. Roode to win this. Roode into the cover. The Lone Wolf with enough presence of mind to save his championship for a few moments longer. Oh, oh no disqualification. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, and the backbreaker. Bobby Roode was a split second away, and Baron Corbin just ruined his dreams here tonight. You just made the list. This is Corbin's chance to seal the deal. May only be academic from here. Thinking about end of days. Here, here it is. Wait a oh! Zigzag! Oh. Oh. Ziggler! Ziggler is the United States champion! Here is your winner and the new United States champion, Dolph Ziggler! Opportunity knocked at 
the door of Dolph Ziggler, and Ziggler just answered your new United States champion. And the man with a bolder size chip on his shoulder, not afraid to tell the world how good he is, just backed it up here tonight. And remember, guys, this is a man who stunned both Brood and Corbin by being added to this match in the first place. Watch this down the stretch, the glorious DDT. Bobby Roode was so close, but Corbin nearly spoiled it for him. Yeah, but almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Bobby Roode yanked out of the ring by the lone wolf. And here, as Corbin looking to finish the deal with end of days, the veteran, Ziggler, now, one nails a zigzag. Boom! Knowing where you are at all times and knowing how to capitalize, Dolph Ziggler has done just that. Dolph Ziggler claims his second United States Championship here tonight in Boston. Dolph Ziggler, the prize is coming home to the show off. This holiday season, there is a place that fulfills all your wishes. Be phenomenal. Raise the bar. And always believe that. The holidays are happiest at www.shop.com. Tonight only, save up to 40% off titles. as if this was made for somebody like, like Earthquake. Could you find me another one? Yeah, I'll go. Thank you. Mine fits. Don't look too hard. Maybe you shouldn't even wear one. Daniel, listen. Uh, you know, I've been going a little bonkers with this thing, and you know I respect you immensely. The reason you were here and I asked you to be the general manager of SmackDown is because of that respect. But Daniel, I mean, what has been going on the last several weeks? Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens were supposed to be Take it out. Gone. Then, I make myself special guest referee. And then last week, you make yourself another special guest referee. What on earth is going through your head? I'm really, really trying to understand this. Shane, I'm here to protect the integrity of SmackDown. And not only that, I'm also trying to protect you from yourself. You have to admit, you have a little bit of a hothead, and you've got a grudge against these two guys. I'm trying to do what's best for SmackDown Live. Understandably, I have a grudge. You have a point about the hot head thing. Oh my god, he deserved it. Alright, so let's play this out a little bit. You're a referee, mm -hmm. I'm a referee. So I'm going to be inside and you're going to be the one on the outside? Nope, we're both going to be inside the ring. Oh, that's interesting. Unprecedented. Mm -hmm. Two referees at the same time in the ring. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Get any ideas how maybe that'll work? You got some ideas. Hmm. But maybe we should talk about that a little more private? Oh, I'll tell you what. Let me go try to work on a referee a shirt that fits you. Then I'll come back and we'll discuss how we're going to get it done. Okay. Sounds, Sounds good? good. See you out there. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Baron. Excuse me, Baron. Between this and your unsuccessful attempt at cashing in your Money in the Bank contract, 
Some are saying that you're earning the reputation of squandering opportunities. I didn't squander anything. I was cheated. Dolph Ziggler didn't belong in that match. He didn't earn it. He stole it. And he's going to pay for it when I take back my United States Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Shakespeare of Song, Aiden English. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my esteemed pleasure to introduce you to my tag team partner. The Bulgarian brute, Rusev. The Bulgarian fruit side by side with the Shakespeare of song. We could very well be seeing new tag team champions tonight, gentlemen, and you know what that means. Every day would be Rusev Day. Yeah, I saw that one coming. Byron, when's your birthday? August 20th. Cancel Rusev Day. Rusev and Aiden English knock off the New Day to impress enough to be put into this matchup for the SmackDown Tag Team titles, making it now a fatal four-way. Oh my goodness. Cancel it. It's Rusev Day. Rusev. <laughs> Thunderous chant for Rusev Day. And because today Every is day is Rusev Day. What's going on, guys? Thank you all so much for coming out it's tonight. A great day to hanging Smackdown out with me, watching a little Clash of Champions. Champions. Rusev Day is the greatest day in all of time and space. You're absolutely and correct. So in that spirit, I will finish the song. But we thank you guys for coming on ago. out, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button as we're on our road to 4,000. 4,000 of you guys of hanging out. My partner gave to me. What's going on, Luke? How are you, man? Rusev. I got to get in here and thank everybody who's metal. recently subscribed. What do we got? We got B Show Riley hitting the subscribe button. Sam Leftwich. Sam Leftwich, huh? Glow Boy. Love Furious. B Man TV. Just O Corenti. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Hunter TNW Vitor. All you guys hitting that subscribe button. Thank you guys very much. Too sweet to you guys. And you guys get the bow. You guys are amazing. Thank you so, so much. Oh, this is amazing. I love it. That was stunning. I got to send another shout out. Who is it? Diana? I believe I told Diana. I got to find Diana. I believe it's Diana. Let me find out who it was. It was either Diane or Diana. You want an encore? Yes! 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 Well, there you are, Diana. Thank you very much for hitting that subscribe button. You get the two sweet. And the bow, Diana. Thank you very much. Who else we got over? James! James hitting that subscribe button. Too sweet, James. And. I don't know what to call these guys. Calling them Shelton and Gable just seems wrong. It seems so wrong. You just made the list. Who do we got? Who just hit that button? Arns just hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Too sweet, Arns. You just made the list. And Neil the Cap. Also on board, helping us hit that 4,000 mark. Too sweet, Neil. Thank you very much. 
You just made the list. Oh boy, who else we got on here? Who else is riding the train? King Puma. I like Puma shoes. They're my favorite shoes of all time, but too sweet, King Puma. You just made the list. Oh, and we have Juventus FC hitting the subscribe button. Juventus, too sweet. With the bow, thank you very much. Trying to get Mama Wookie to let me hang my too sweet flag behind us. Do you, do you think that's happening? What does my wall art say behind me? I am not a fucking clue. <laughs> I hung it. I can tell you that much, but I have no idea what it says. I didn't hang that one. You can thank Big E. Anybody got some extra napkins? I want to be ready this time. Like the fact that Big E's out here wearing Christmas colors on Christmas. Oh my. Blasphemous. Oh, I'm sorry, Grinch. No, you can read it. <laughs> what is it? Well, read it to me. Um, dance as though no one is watching. Okay, dance as though no one's watching. Love as though you've never been hurt. Uh, oh, sorry, say that again. Love as though you've never been hurt. Low is, love as though you've never been hurt. Sing as though no one can hear you. Sing as though no one can hear you. And live as though heaven is on earth. And live as though heaven is on earth. There you go. That's all the words I got for today. Arns, there is your shout out, my man. Who else? Day one ish. I gotta put up the thing for you guys. Uh, Bill the Key also hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much, Bill the Key. Too sweet to use, sir. Ooh! That's a good question. They were in a cup. Um, but can you hand me those scissors? This ain't America's Got Talent. What's my oh. prediction for tonight? What do you mean, Sean? What do you mean, what's my prediction? What what match? But since you're so worried about singing about the 12 days of Christmas, me and those got a little remix of our own, and they go a little something like this. Everybody feel free to sing along. 12 days, locked down. 11 days, locked down. 10 days, locked down. 9 days, locked down. 8 days, locked down. 7 days, locked down. 6 days, locked down. 5 days, locked down. Six day, locked down. All right, guys, bets coming in. Uh, Bill, some of them don't come up if your email or if your account does not send an email. Um, Streamlabs won't see it. That's that's basically what's going on, King Puma. Too sweet, Wolfpack. Always throwing up the too sweet. Teddy tells me to hang it. I might just do it. I might do it, Teddy. Don't tell. Don't tell Mama Wookie. Are they handing out pancakes? Oh, they're still handing out pancakes. Okay. Disgusting pancakes. He's coming this way, Corey. I hope he runs out before he gets here. One pancake, please. So yeah, yes, Roman's twin cousins are more over than he is. It's true. All of it. Day one is H. Sugar and some syrup, and I'll be ready to go. Look at this, Aiden English, Chad Gable, Kofi Kingston, and Jay Uso to start oh. off this matchup. What's going on, Hunter? Cover from Gable, and now English right that is your Gable. shout out. Oh, oh, Kofi, cover on English. I can't show the screen. You guys know that. That's no, uh, covers, that's no surprise. YouTube is not a big fan of that since of uh, copyright and all that stuff. They don't like it. WWE will come and snag that shit in a heartbeat. And right at about 30 minutes, they're going to be shutting down a ton of channels right now. So. Remember, no disqualifications in a fatal four-way match. Oh, no. Kobe's about to go for a flight. Oh, Kobe. Kobe, uh. Why do we all go, oh, Kofi went over the top rope. Never done that before. What's going on, DMC? You know what I should probably be doing? Okay, everything looks like it's good over here. This has been every bit chaotic as we go. Uh oh, oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Jimmy Uso tied up with Shelton Whoa. Haven't seen that one in a while. Bill, I don't, Bill, I don't know what the fuck they're thinking with making him the champion. Dodge for life gaming. Too sweet, my friend. Thank you very much. We're on that road. On that road to 4,000 subscribers. Right Can't believe my spe my spelling's atrocious. I'll tell you that right now. I know I'm a bad speller. 
great at grammar, horrible at spelling. Some people you put those one in the same. I do not. DMC Sports News hitting that subscribe button. Two M Sweet DMC. Uh, I think AJ wins. I hope you're right. I really hope you're right on AJ winning. I do not want another gender title run. Uh, can't do it. Can't do it. Why did they give the belt to Dolph, dude? If I was inside the head of Vince McMahon, I'd be running a completely different channel. What's up, Hunter? I do play Supercard, Bill. I haven't been able to play much in the month of December. Uh, you know, Christmas and such. It's it's a and Christmas and such. There's no such thing as Panda Cup. It's not a real. It's not a real holiday. I think Charlotte retains, and I think we're gonna get a little bit of shenanigans from. Uh, I think we're going to get a little bit of shenanigans for the Once title. Again, in a I think we're going to see a cash in tonight. Um, DZ or Rude? Am I a fan of DZ or Rude? I mean, I'm I'm a much bigger fan of uh, Bobby Rude. I love him. Back in beer money and all that jazz. Ooh, loved me some Bobby Rude. Who do I think will win this? I think Usos retain. That way they can keep this whole thing with Benjamin and, and Gable. Kind of going. English is tied up with Jimmy Uso here in Grace. That's the difficult part of these fatal four way matches. The pinball could happen at any time. Oh, we just saw the difficulty that Corbin and Rude and Ziggler had in just three competitors in the ring. This is four at all times, plus tag team partners on the outside. Oh. Luke says Pandica greater than Christmas. Luke, hey, this is smart. you clearly don't feel my pain on a week to week basis. I think Carmella leaves with the title, too. Yeah. dominated the SmackDown tag team title picture for. The better part of this summer. Five, All right, take it easy, Sean. Yes. Have a good night. I think AJ is retaining. Check the description English down below. Slow down both the Usos and the New Day here at this juncture. You guys realize we're being serenaded by Aiden English. It's Rusev. Serenaded. Day. Tom Brady doesn't even have his own day in this town. Do you get pancakes on Rusev Day? They should. Uh -oh. oh, and a suplex there. Benjamin is legal for his team. I believe a tag on the opposite side. Rusev legal. Come Benjamin here. to a cover and a kick out. And Rusev right Down there soon. on control, keeping an eye on Benjamin. Looks like equal parts chaos and confusion on the parts of all these I just got the WWE QR code, and I got the Elite Samoa Joe, Summer Rae, and Hideo Itami. Dude, I'm, if you're in that class, that's great. I'm too far above, like, elites. I'm out of elites. What? Another tag here. Chad Gable comes into the match. Who are the black tag dudes? The New Day? A little over a year ago after the WWE because it's Christmas. Oh, What's going on, Fire Dog? Tag team. Um, team. Well, clearly Sammy and Kevin are winning. I think Uso Sammy and Kevin are winning. Mama Wookie has a difference of opinion with me on that one. When she's done eating, I'm sure she can come tell you. Motivated a team like. Bruce seven eight in English. You gotta be impressed with how how well Gable and Benjamin have gelled oh, in yes. a short period of time. Rusev you Day know, is Jack over. Balor is over. Alongside Jason Jordan, um, oh, oh, the oh, shield to a degree, I'll I'll get, get with you on them being over. Um, fashion Files is definitely oh. over, dude. I love the Fashion Wood Files. It's it's one of my Jack favorite Gable. things. It looked like Benjamin took a shot at Jay. Now English into the cover on Jimmy and broken up by Benjamin. Little one-upsmanship for a moment between English and Benjamin. A tag here. Chad Gable's back into the match. Believes in the motto of scratch and claw. Uh, scratch and claw. Do whatever it takes. Whether it's it starts the feud with the glowy one. Film, you want to tell whatever you have to do to get better oh, than your cover, opponent. Cover here. Oh, and Rusev breaks it up. I don't, I don't know. See, I'm, I'm so torn on... Oh, let me just stretch this out real quick. Because what is it going to oh, take yeah, for a team to stuck. get a clean attempt at like, a or I feel like they're going the to win, and there's no doubt in my mind that they're going to win. Try to get this down to one -on -one no, they're not going to win. Possible. Yeah. Good luck with that. And, uh, English is legal, but again, no okay. Tell them why. The, what, okay. do you, what do you think is going to happen? So Sammy. I think. Sammy, you, you, you told me, Sammy. Up, Byron. I wish oh, my God, Luke. I'd almost put you in timeout for that. Benjamin and Gable, who took a shot at Big E. Oh, oh my God! 
<laughs> yes, it should. I love you so much, Luke. Uh, I'm saying the Shield are going to split up because Roman got enough attention. Dude, make no, make no bones about it. The reason they brought the Shield back was to try to get Roman over. Okay, so... All right, how's it going to go? You tell me. KO and Zayn, right? Yep, KO and Sammy. They're not going to win. No. And then Stephanie is going to come out. Well, so, Shane's going to be like, you're, you're fired. Fire. Like, fuck you, you're fired. Yeah, like, okay. no more wrestling for you. Like, soup Nazi. Soup Nazi. <laughs> no but more wrestling, wrestling for you. Yes. Okay. But. And Stephanie's going to come out, and she's like, you're not going to tell me what to do, and you don't make my decisions for me, and they're going to go to Raw. I, 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 it's a good game plan. Like, no doubt. Like, it's a good You're plan. not going to just make them disappear. Right. You, just you have too much money and too much merch. But real quick, I'm gonna, Panda Bear, we got to say... Oh, oh, hold on, I got to turn me up again. Panda Bear, we got to say a quick thank you to Brandon Turnbull. Turnbull. I'm sorry, Brandon Turnbull hitting that subscribe button. Thank you very much, Brandon. Too sweet to you. And you get the bow. Mama Wookie doesn't like it, but that's too bad. So I found something that gets under your skin. You have no idea... Something else. Let, let me explain it to you. You have no idea. I become like a six-year-old when it comes to my birthday. You have no idea. Like what I deal with with Panda Cup. All right, let me just explain that to you real quick. You have no idea, like how much like. When Pandaka rolls around, it's no all about Mama Wookie. All about Mama Wookie. The rest Wookie. of the year is about everybody else, except for the week up to my birthday. And I think that's fair. And just this week, you wanted to extend Pandaka. Yes, with Shiva. <laughs> you wanted to extend I wanted Pandaka. to sit. <laughs> okay. So, the eight days uh, leading up to and my birthday is Panda Cup. And then I wanted to employ um, sitting oh, a, a version of Shiva, which is the seven days of mourning of Panda Cup, where people we, bring me food. What are we mourning? <laughs> that my birthday has passed. No, we're all very happy after your birthday has passed. No. Well, do you think not. evolution's gonna get back? No, that I don't think is gonna happen. I can't see it. Betting's closed for you guys. See, I don't. I don't. Probably really offensive to anyone who's actually Jewish. Probably. I just thought about that. But Nick, Nick, I don't know if they're gonna risk putting Brian back in the ring, even if it comes down to the fact of him leaving. Uh, because like you don't want to, you don't want another Owen Hart. Like God forbid you have another Owen Hart on your hands, and I think that's what they feel like would happen. I'm only mad with power for a week, though. It's not that bad. Um, tell uh, tell Leoness what Pandica is. Okay, Pandica is a celebration of my birthday. It's the eight days leading up to her birthday. Yes, the eight days leading up to my birthday, where I am supposed to be celebrated and adored. Thus, Pandica. Oh, the big ending. Oh, wait, no, it's going to be midnight hour. Nope. Oh, and it almost botched. Rusev almost completely missed Biggie. That's it. Rusev collapses into the cover. I was ready to start the parade. I don't know how Biggie did it, but he managed to survive. Uh, I don't know, suicide. I, I don't know if WWE is willing to take the risk. That's a big risk. I mean, he could die in the ring. So, I mean, you can say it all you want, like it's gonna happen. But I just oh, there it is. Hey, bud. He looks like he's fading fast. Can Biggie hang on here? If you're getting more, well. 
Mm, no. No, I don't have the wrong death, Gregory. Uh, but the scenario being very similar of, like, somebody dying on television. WWE does a lot live. And for somebody to die live on television, ee, that's not something you want. What's going on, James? Oh, so Panda is like Hanukkah, but only for her. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a fuckery option in the main event. Well, no, because we do who's leaving with the title for main events. Or for, well, not for main events, but for any title belt scenarios. That's Gable. Holy shit. Dude, he legit just picked him fucking up. That's a lot of man. What's going on, Mudkip? Long time no see, man. Ah, uh, Lucha Dragons probably not. Ah, oh, and it's the Usos. Yeah, I was right. Let's see who our winners are. Options were the Usos, Damon Wayne, Jennifer Luke, and Leon S. You guys predicted it correctly. Enjoy your newfound coins. Man, that's just him. That's amazing. He deadlifted him. That's a lot of man. So if Brian leaves, who do you, no, nobody's going to replace Daniel Bryan. Um, it's just they're just going to write him off. But I just, it depends on if WWE, like I said, it all depends on if WWE is willing to take the risk. That's the big thing. Oh, I love me some heel Usos, Tom. I'm a big fan of heel Usos. I love them. Yeah, where, where is War Machine headed? I haven't heard anything about them. Day one is... Day one is H. This is where history is made. Where champions are born. What? The I hate you. Is Why? Yeah, you fucked me up. Inches. How did I fuck the you up? You said a number. Day, I said day one is H. That's a letter. <laughs> I don't know. Day, day, day one? Oh, yeah. That's true. Do I have a Discord shirt do? Um, check the link. Uh, do I have it on the link? I should have a link down here. Uh, if not, it should roll around eventually. Uh, or I could just open Discord, I guess. It's possible if they're leaving. Yeah, no, I thought I had a link to the Discord in the... Uh... Hmm, interesting. The baby. There you go. Who asked for the Discord link? B-Man. There you go, B man. There's the Discord link. Is there your butterfly? Yeah, you got a butterfly. I've been down since day. Yeah, you're good. One is H. It started. This is nuts. We are coming up on our third championship match of the night here. Um, I just saw. Uh, what is your favorite food, Wookie and Mama Wookie? My favorite food is it's got to be pizza. I love a good, good pizza. I even love crummy pizza. Cheesy, 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 cheesy lasagna. What's yours? 
Mine? Oh. No. You're asking Diana? Yes. Oh, Diana, what's your favorite? Ooh, Revival back in two weeks. I love the Revival, too. When will Sanity debut on the main roster? That's a very good question. MC, um, Uso's retained. What happened to my hair? It's been the same way for like, what, three weeks now? It's growing back. Come on, Azus. Where you been? Um, I'm guessing the next match is going to be Natalia and Charlotte. That's just a guess. They're playing burger inside a pizza. Oh, a burger inside a pizza. Pizza burgers is good. I do, love me so I do like some pizza burgers. Wait, where was that? Diane. Burger inside Diane. a pizza. Yeah. It's a pizza burger. No. A burger inside No, a pizza. that's opposite. Oh. That's a burger pizza. So she likes a pizza. A pizza burger is pizza inside of a burger, which I, I, I made right. So good. I could really go for a pizza burger. But a burger pizza. Never had it. Do you make it? Do you buy it? Do you, you can get you can get Nobody burger pizza at Toppers. I'm gonna go to the little boys to the little Wookiees room real quick. I'll be back, right, guys? I gotta go to the little Wookiees room. Naomi's being taken out on a backboard here, guys. The Riot Squad have blitzed the SmackDown Women's Division. It'll be Charlotte Flair defending the SmackDown Women's Championship against Natalia. The rest of the Women's Division will surround the ring as Lumberjacks. Their job is to keep the women battling for the title inside the ring. The girls are the epitome of beauty, brawn, and brains. Natalia knows if she wants the Riot Squad on her side, it's going to help her chances of winning the Women's Championship. It's going to play right into her hands. Clash of Champions, the Queen will bow down to the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. She is loving every ounce of damage that the Riot Squad is inflicting on Charlotte Flair. Bring it to the floor. She's back. Naomi coming to the rescue of the Queen. The Riot Squad put Naomi on the shelf for weeks. Now there's a little payback. Oh, and look out. Oh, it's the remainder of the Lumberjacks. Chaos ensued. Expect more of the same SmackDown Women's Championship on the line. Charlotte Flair against Natalya. The following contest is a Lumberjack match. And it is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Introducing first, the Lumberjacks. Byron, here's the woman who made a surprise return this past Tuesday night on SmackDown Live, certainly shocking the Riot Squad. And uh, earlier tonight on the kickoff show, made a very clear Riot Squad, you come near me, you will truly find out what it's like it's to feel the glory. Hey, And a reminder that you can watch your favorite TV shows and movies online with Hulu and get next day unlimited instant streaming access to all of WWE's weekly programs, including Raw, SmackDown, Main Event, NXT, and 205 Live. Visit Hulu.com for a free trial and start watching your favorite WWE shows today. Hey guys, remember it was at the hands of the Riot Squad that Naomi suffered face, shoulder, and neck injuries going right into that steel stairs. It was a vicious attack on the Riot Squad. We know Naomi's looking for payback of some sort. But you gotta wonder, 
how deep in the mind of the entire women's division have the Riot Squad Miss gotten Money already? In the bank, Carmella. And uh, here's a woman, Carmella, who still owns the Money in the Bank contract that gives her a women's title opportunity anytime, anywhere. And Carmella relishes that role. She knows she is a constant threat to whomever the women's champion is. Carmella, in my opinion, is a, a wolf in sheep's clothing right now. It seems like the women's division is taking her for granted. She might be Next, the most dangerous. The ravishing Russian Lana and Tamina. And Tamina telling the rest of the lumberjacks here tonight, earlier on in the kickoff show, do not cross Lana and I. Next, making the way, the Riot Squad. This is the uh, proverbial team of the hour, guys. Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, and Sarah Logan. They have very quickly turned the SmackDown Women's Division upside down. Record time, the entire WWE Universe is buzzing about these three women in the Riot Squad. All the Lumberjacks are surrounding the ring. The potential for chaos is huge right now. Now we saw Naomi a moment ago. She's not happy to see the Riot Squad. And now the competitors. Guys, Natalia has done everything in her power over the last few weeks to make friends with all of the Lumberjacks, especially the Riot Squad. I actually heard uh, Natalia bought uh, you know, Carmella uh, a Louis Vuitton handbag. You know, she said this for the holiday season, but I think Natalia's still trying to do some last minute kissing up here. And tonight, WWE Clash of Champions is presented by Tapout Activewear, now available at Aeropostel and tapout.com. And by Mattel's Network Spotlight WWE Action Figures, available exclusively at Toys R Us. It's not kissing up, Byron, if it leads to success. It's a very smart, sound strategy by Natalia to try to befriend all of these ladies. The one thing that they can all agree on is they all are aiming for Charlotte's title. Speaking of whom, here comes the Queen. The Queen's got to feel a little apprehensive knowing that surrounding the ring are women she needs to worry about in the future. Maybe even tonight. Potentially even Carmella, who could, for all intents and purposes, cash in her money in the bank contract tonight. Well, I asked Charlotte, how concerned are you about all these rubber jacks surrounding the race? She said, listen, the last couple months, I've been through a health scare with my dad. I've had a book come out. I've been in a movie. I've been able to juggle all these things. So just having the combustible elements of lumberjacks around the ring does not concern me. I am prepared and I am ready to defend my champion. Byron, on what planet are releasing a book and being in a fight for your championship surrounded by enemies well, similar? The whole point what planet? is Charlotte has had to juggle a lot over the last couple months, which has boosted her confidence. She's got a lot on her mind and she's been able to manage it. That's a detriment, in my opinion. You want to be a champion? The only thing you can focus on is being a champion. And what about Natalia? You think Natalia's plate's not full? She's on Total Divas. She's All right, guys. Oop, hit the button. Every time. There we go. We're back. Maybe two balls should be a lumberjack. Introducing the challenger from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. And her opponent from the Queen Yes, that is the match that is on. Did betting end already, or did I not hit start bet? I got to hit start bet. There you guys go. Bet's incoming for you guys. Sorry, my bad, guys. I thought I hit start bet, and I thought it was over already. I heard that they were doing entrances for everybody, so I'm like, oh, I gotta rush my, I don't gotta dress, rush my wee wee. At Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, and Sarah Logan. Shut up, Sarah. Like Jack Dirty Slot. From the outside. <laughs> And again, the purpose of the Lumberjacks is to keep what? the action inside the ring in the event that Charlotte or Natalia spill outside. Not necessarily too I, I think Charlotte's going to well, win, theory, that's what but I have a feeling that Carmella's cashing in. The indicator, there's a chance there's going to be a lot of fists flying inside and outside of the ring. We are set here at Clash of Champions. Natalia. Come on, Wookie, what? What'd I do? I didn't do nothing. Perhaps the only friend, quote unquote, on the outside that Charlotte Flair has is Naomi. Said earlier tonight, oh, oh she will have Charlotte's back. 
Well, it's an honorable thing for Naomi to say, but at the end of the day, Naomi wants what's around Charlotte Flair's waist. Well, Charlotte knows Period. that. Point well, blank. That's not a secret. Oh. Yeah, it looks like a lot of you guys think it's going to be Miss Flair as well. That's obvious. And Natalia sent outside the ring right oh, to Naomi. Hey. Oh, what is the honor in this, Naomi? Taking oh, a that's, cheap that's shot. That's what a lumberjack does, Corey. No, that's no. not what a lumberjack hold on, hold on, does, hold on, hold on. Byron. In the matchup where Naomi was injured, it was Natalia who took a walk on the team of Naomi and Charlotte Natalia Flair. Natalia didn't injure Naomi. Didn't certainly help. And there goes Charlotte Flair outside, right to Lana Carmella and Tamina. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, what's that, Corey? They're oh, trying to, trying to, to get me. Charlotte no, back they're, they're the trying, ring. right? I deserve yeah, a Dr. Pepper. There. All right. Go get yourself a Dr. Pepper. Let's ambush her first. Let's mug her first. Then we'll get her back in the ring. I think that was simply payback for what Naomi started. She's to blame in all this. You are pathetic. Oh, just notice how how the Riot Squad move as a cohesive unit. All three of them in unison at all times. Where I wish I was watching this match with the glasses that you are. I don't no, I have a feeling she's walking out with the title. Something tells me she's gonna pull a yeah, she's gonna pull a Corbin, but she's walking out with she's gonna catch in, but she's walking out with that title. And again, both these superstars have to be very, very cautious. Despite everything, uh, oh, Natalia's done for the sake of self-preservation. The weeks oh. to this. You can see that extra moment. Look at James the getting in there with a little three thousand dollar bet or three thousand coin bet. Get him, James. What does it tell you though about the confidence? Get him. that Natalia has had heading into this. You want to watch? Spending so much time trying to build alliances amongst these lumberjacks. You just made the list. Look at this, Natalia now just. Doing her best to show oh, Charlotte. Oh, that was a stiff one. Super Corey Marcus the hitting the subscribe button. Thank you very much, Marcus. Squad. And now Carmella getting involved as well. Lama, Lama has also joined us for today. Logan just tossed off Carmella See, here. Libby. Like on one, the Lama. Say hi, Lama. Pop off Say hello. You can't put all these combustible yeah. Say hi, everybody. It to pop off. Oh, oh. Again. Who's that baby is, on the this screen? This is brilliant strategy. Who is that? Again, it says to me, I can't beat Charlotte myself. Let me put it in the hands of the Lumberjacks. Lama's joining us for the women's match. She wanted to watch, so I said, that's fine. Uh, no, li um, Soph put the elf hat there, right which is fine. Boom, let's do it again. Not a big deal. I thought that was, I thought that was cute. A little elf on a shelf hat there. But this strategy is cheap. It's the strategy of a winner, Byron. It's absolutely You win at all costs. Sometimes if you aren't cheating, you're not trying. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. Love that line. That's you really say hello awesome. to everybody, Lama. Oh, say again, hi. Guys, so this is all Thank you. Hi. I'm a fox. Captain Righteous to your left. Look, all I'm saying is don't be a hypocrite, okay? If you're going to be an Italian and talk about how proud you are of your family legacy and upholding the Hart family legacy, then don't take shortcuts like you are here. Oh, see, it's oh, weird. Oh, oh, I see you remember girly. this thing called the Hart Foundation. You did a whole bunch of that and won a whole bunch of championships in the process. You're not going to win this one, Talking Saxton. Talking the microphone. Too. Hi, everybody. Riot squad looking on oh, as Natalia has a fun grasp here on okay, Charlotte Google. Blair, Carmella, Turn Tamina, off and Lana eyeing this championship matchup. This is fantastic. Think of all of the all, all the energy that Natalia has reserved to this point by throwing Charlotte to the outside, got a letting the ladies at ringside handle most of the workload. This is brilliant. This is this yeah, is a thanks, strategy Sam. becoming of a champion. So, like, what, 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 what happens if Natalia does become that champion? So Where does that come from? Do I like football? Now she's got the Diana, let me tell you something. She hold on to that title on I love Why are you worried about stuff football. That That's pretty much what consumes my Sunday throughout the winter. Uh, what's going on, Dodge? How can I vote? Uh, Luke, you want to give him the whole... There you go. Just follow Teddy Hart's example. Exclamation point bet. One for Flair, two for uh, Natty. And then um, how much you want to bet? And despite uh, everything the Italian's done here in this match, okay, this Natalia is a road procaster. Right what, you want to talk Flair. now? Absolutely brutal. Oh, talk, say something. A handicap match going on, it makes it easy. Ruby Ram is so hi. I don't know if she sees herself on the screen. Ruby Ram is so hi, baby. She's going to wait. I'm sorry I can't ignore them. I can't Starting ignore away. them when they completely ambush the women's champion. Well, see, what, what's happening say inside hi, the ring is Natalia is handily dispatching the women's champion. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Natalia slides over oh, to the outside. Let's, yeah, let's see what happens here. Mama Wookie's the best Wookie. Well, oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Diana. Where, 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 
Where was the ambush? Why would there be an ambush? Carmella is clearly a professional when it comes uh, to being a lumberjack. Natalia has the lumberjacks in her back Natalia pocket. Natalia has been saying for With weeks, the, weeks that yeah, she something. is a leader. Yeah, say something. She's a leader in the locker room. Say hi. Been, you you believe, believe that? You believe that nonsense? Why would say I? Hi, everybody. Why would I? 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 Give me another lesson about righteousness, Byron, about Charlotte Flair. There was this guy How do you Rick vote? Flair. Just follow um yeah, he was follow Teddy Hart. He just excuse. did it. Follow so Teddy Hart's example. Your Exclamation theory. point bet. Your, your option like, one for Flair, Italia. two for Natty. Now, and then how many you wanna uh, how many you wanna bet? Natalia's the one who came out here and claimed that she didn't successfully defend her title. This is gonna be a going up to the top. Oh, and that's costly for Charlotte. You wanna fact check Well, hello there, Prince Vince, all the way from all the Aussie world you could tell she was down in Australia. Usual, and Natalia made the queen pay. Trying to step through here. The submission special is one of the sharp I'm just shot thinking of your bar Charlotte. situation. My bar situation. Oh, <laughs> my bar name? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And your backstory? Yeah. And for a Would second, like to share? Charlotte no. So <laughs> better on the verge of more than just riding herself. Yeah, better yet, can she close it's it funny. out? I, think it's it's I don't think Asuka will join Absolution. Um, and I'm not a fan. Like, Paige did nothing for me before, and then all the sex tapes got leaked, and she really does nothing for me now. So, yeah, that's a thing. So what is Absolution? Absolution is that little group with Paige. So ridiculous. Uh, let's see, it's Paige. I can't remember the other girl, and then it's Mandy Rose. The other girl's very forgettable. Adam Cole, baby! Oh, and look at Tamina with a kick. Another cheap shot. Boo, boo. Is she gonna have to dance or Yeah, she should know. be. She Natalia's going to get on another champion we want. championship oh, lady. That's the champion we want. Represent SmackDown Live. The right sharpshooter's locked in. Hard family sharpshooter here on Charlotte Flair. Can oh, Natalia regain the SmackDown Women's Championship? I think she likes the blue light. Charlotte's got to try and find so a way right. to get to the bottom rope here. Charlotte doesn't have an ally in the world right now. Can she get to the role that Charlotte is I know she's trying to stand. Sunny Deville, thank you. How long can Charlotte possibly We need to get you a Jenny Jumper. Or Johnny Jumper. You can hear the riot squad on the outside yelling tap out, Charlotte. Tap out, tap out, tap out. Tapping out again, Charlotte trying to preserve her existence in this matchup. Dude, let's face it, WrestleMania 34, the only person going up against Brock Lesnar is going to be Roman Reigns. That was laid out over a year ago, and that's exactly what it's going to be. Hey, bud. Come on. You just made the list. Oh, Lucas. Lucas DeBellis, our newest subscriber. Thank you very much. On our road. I kind of love it. Of course you love it. To 4,000 subscribers. Libby, can you give them the two llamas? Give them the two llamas. Wait, 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 wait. And the bow. We bow. We bow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back is she going to cash in? Wait a minute, Ruby oh, no. Ryan right on Carmella. And Ruby Ryan may have just spoiled Carmella's plans. And the rest of the Riot Squad and the Lumberjacks flooding the ring. The Riot Squad's been spoiling a lot of plans over the last few weeks. And look at the Lumberjacks. They've battled yeah. through the ring now outside. Yeah, by the way, we still have a match going on. Are you teething? And Charlotte and Natalia, and they get pursued, it seems, just in their own melee. See, yeah. she's chomping. Oh, Natalia trying to fend off Naomi there, but going up top. What is she thinking? Oh, we know exactly what she's thinking. Are you going to get angry? Oh, the Down goes the entire SmackDown Women's Division. Oh, but Natalia, the first one up. And Natalia was able to avoid the moonsault. Oh, face first into the post. Right. And Charlotte knew she had to do something drastic. She knew she had to try and take out all these lumberjacks. Can't blame Charlotte. It's yeah, something's going to happen between Asuka. I agree with Sam. There's going to be some type of feud. I don't know about war. You just made the but list. there's going to be something. Batman Squad hitting that subscribe button on that road to 4,000. Thank you very much. Get the bow. 
Again, all the lumberjacks are down outside. The Pretty range. much, Over and it's clear. sad. Barely that was the plan a year ago, and they ain't changing it. Not for nobody, unless Roman gets hurt. Mama Wookie, are you the best at cooking? <laughs> Only big meals. Natty taps. Now let's see what's going on. What's going on? I can cook, though. <coughs> oh, we all, are we're, laughing? we're a big Asuka family here. <laughs> Nick Wilson. What? <laughs> I said I can cook, though, if you laugh. <laughs> you just made the list. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's funny. David Parchman also hitting that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Too sweet, Dave. And the bow. Thank you very much. Oh, not all of it. I'm not. I think the Queen just showed up on air traffic control at Logan Airport, dropping as many of the lumberjacks as she could. Did not get the time over the process. Meanwhile, back inside the ring, it was Charlotte who was able to turn things around. She is so cute. Uh, despite all odds, Charlotte proving why she is the Queen. Look at her. Oh, oh, that's where you're wrong, King Puma. Roman is winning. Excuse me. I drop things Italia. too sometimes. A disappointing outcome for you tonight. What went wrong? I did nothing wrong. Tonight, Charlotte did what Charlotte does best. She uses her family's names to cut corners. I have given, I have given the WWE Universe some of the best matches the women in this company have ever seen. And I have carried this entire division for 10 years. And all of you, 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 all of you have treated me with nothing but disrespect. The WWE wants to turn their back on me. The WWE Universe wants to turn their back on me. What's going on, Jade? I'll get to you guys' question. What's going on, Jonathan? I'll get to you guys' questions here in a second. Well, now I'm turning my back on all of you. The fuck is going on with the crazy cat lady? She's going through menopause or something? Uh, she made an Instagram for her cat, honey. Yes. Very interesting. Prince Vince, who wins the Royal Rumble 2018? That's, uh, I'm in agreement. I saw, who is it, Luke? Yeah, I'm in agreement with Luke. I do believe it's going to be... Yeah, what is this game I keep saying? Mayhem? Alright, I'm going to have to download Mayhem and see what that's all about. Um, I think it's going to be Shinsuke winning in 2018. Tom, very correct. Seth can't save it at 34 because uh, Money in the Bank won't be till after WrestleMania this year. And uh, Baron Corbin fucked up his cash-in, so that's done. Is she done? I don't... 
I don't. That didn't signify like I'm retiring. So I don't know. <laughs> like very very weird. Yes, she is. She is a crazy cat lady. For all those asking, her uh, her her cat two paws has his own uh, his own Instagram. If y'all were wondering. Growing up heart makes you a maniac, pretty much. All you got to do is just look at, uh... Oh, who the fuck am I thinking about? All you got to do is just look at, uh... Fuck! Brett. <laughs> you know, the, the only the most popular heart of all time. Favorite NFL team? Well, I'll tell you this, Dodge. I live in Wisconsin, so you can guess who my favorite team is. Yeah, she was a heel to begin with, and then she's like, oh, you turned your back on me, so now I'm going to turn my back on... Like, what? You was already a heel, girl. You done gone crazy. I heard Batista... But I somehow highly doubt Batista's coming back because the first person that's going to want to beat him is fucking Triple H. And he's going to be like, no. Um, which tag team match, Janelle? We had the tag team title match already go off. Rey Mysterio, I'd be interested to see if he comes back. Match is over, Jade, with, uh, with your winner being Charlotte. We had a teased cash in, and that was it. Um, I don't know. Cena's been trying to distance himself more and more and more away from the WWE, especially with his latest interview. So I don't know if Cena's going to necessarily be uh, coming back anytime soon. Excuse me. I was hoping to get a word with Jinder. Whoa, whoa. Dasha, Dasha. The modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal is in deep, deep, deep. Om Shanti Om. Om Shanti Om. Meditation mode. Preparing for his WWE Championship match tonight and cannot be, cannot be disturbed. But Jinder Mahal did hear the. Well, I mean, let me see if I can find mayhem. The Clash of Champions kickoff show, and you're probably here wondering how Jinder Mahal reacted. It's kind of like that. You see, it was a good old hearty Punjabi laugh. AJ Styles is a little mistaken if he thinks he's going to defy the odds. Yeah, I got it right here. You remember what we did to him on SmackDown Live this past week? Nothing. We humiliated him. Jay, can you hear me, my pillow? We are very confident. Yeah, I got it. I got it right here. If you can, I don't know if you can see that, but I, I found it right away. Two time. Two time. Thank you. Two time WWE champion. Okay. Tonight. And body, 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 Jinder Mahal is so, 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 so confident that... What do you mean by after show, Diana? I typically so just do the streams and that's, that's, that's it. I normally, I, I used to do after shows, but I stopped because nobody was really coming by. We'll find out yourself. Thank you very much for your time, Dasha. Did you change your clothes? Yeah, she drew that one. Oh, uh, what's going on, Jade? Yeah, I'm, I'm a big Packers fan. What did you miss? You missed the women's championship, which Charlotte retained. Usos. Oh, shit, that's not good. Well, the Usos retained, Charlotte retained. Um, the only title switch we've had right now is uh, the U.S. title, which that went to Dolph Ziggler. What in the world? We went to Hot Pants, really? Yeah, I've, I've seen the rumors. I, I just don't know how I feel about them. Introducing first, the team of Tyler Breeze and Bon Dongo. Breeze, Dongo. 
never wanted to see the personification of false confidence and false promotion. Ah, uh, Rey Mysterio right coming back. Your face, gentlemen. Yeah, the world is wondering why Brizongo requested this matchup. And with that, here's our international role of announced teams. First in Portuguese, Marco Alfaro and Roberto Figueroa. Obrigado, Tim. Olá, Brasil. Estamos em Boston e o ringue está pegando fogo no Clash of Champions. Temos o combate principal ainda pelo título da WWE e o combate do emprego. Semi Zayn e Kevin Owens. And Russian, Mauri Margon and Jean Pomerenza. Yeah, Rogers really, I don't know, Rogers played funny today. And, and it's, it's that rust. He hasn't played in over, what, two months? It was nine weeks. No, it was seven weeks. So there's always going to be some rust, which he just couldn't work out. And going up against a really good team in, you know, in the Panthers, not much you can do. Our French team, Ray Rougeau and John Brassard. Yes, the, the Packers secondary is god fucking awful. Actually, no, you want to know what their entire fucking defense is god fucking awful. And yeah, and that's why we're not betting. I know everybody wants to bet. I see everyone. Let's bet on this one because it's like free coins. We're not betting on this one. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. What's going on, Chauncey? And remember, you can take in all the action in any language you choose right here on the WWE Network. Byron, did you Just putting some moves on, you know. I would have if he asked. It should be interesting. How do you say nightmares are real in eight different languages? Uh, yes, football is on two right now. Say goodbye to the Spanish and shut down Oh my god, that's great. Tyler Breeze and Fandango have to feel like they're standing. Yes, right now, if you guys were wondering, Dallas is up on Oakland uh, 10 to nothing in the second quarter. So that might mean something to me. So rudely interrupted Harper and Rowan, like walking executioners to their next victim, Fondango and Tyler Breeze. I need, I need fucking I Julio Jones to have a night Monday fire, night. Because I don't think it's going to air anymore. Okay. In a weird, physically detrimental way, I think this is kind of honorable for Breezango. Listen, they feel like the Bludgeon Brothers are responsible for... My favorite wrestler right now, current wrestler, is AJ Styles. Love me some AJ, love me some Braun. Um, there's a lot of guy. There's a lot of guy. A lot of guys who uh, who I'm big fans of. Decided to do this, and like I said, that'll be the last time you'll probably ever see Fashion Files. Uh, yes. Well, I mean, it depends on what you mean by did Seattle play today. Uh, there were twelve. There were eleven men on the field. Just scaring off Fandango from the apron. That was quite smart. If, if that's what you mean by play. Rowan now legal. Oh boy. Oh, look at Rowan. Watch out, Fandango. Could you imagine? Um, I, think I don't think that any of Seattle showed up today. Let them run the show. I know since Charles dead ass got whooped 42 to seven, and it, and it was oh, at one time, I believe it was 40 nothing. Right now we got the Bludgeon Brothers oh, going up against Brizongo. Well. Yeah, but Rowan's still on his feet. Uh oh, Tyler Breeze! Oh, 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 caught by Rowan. Oh boy, I don't like this. Oh, now Fondango, you went to the Lions to game yesterday? I know that was happening. I know they're doing oh, Saturday God. nights now, too. Owen saved himself for going into the post. I, meanwhile, Harper just blasted Breeze. Yeah, the Rams are oh, looking now good. I would, right now. I would say the Eagles oh, look good, but. Um, I'm highly uncomfortable with the fact that this is all taking place right in front of us. I love it. It's my favorite thing. You are a Leave sick him. human being. It's I enjoy what the Bludgeon ready. Brothers do. Okay. You don't get paid by the hour. You just beat people oh, up. What is this? Oh, God. Wait a minute. Oh, God. 
Oh. Well, if Harper's boot didn't take out Breeze's teeth, Seriously. that one sure did. Oh, and now Rowan smashing Fondango in the corner. Like Harper. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. We've seen this yeah, before. Who else? I, I was liking the Eagles. I know they won today. So yeah, still like the best in the uh, screaming here tonight. best in the East. These two behemoths Rams looking good. Vikings controlled. look good. Up goes Fondango. Right, there's a lot of teams that down goes Fondango. That is it. Case closed. No, Mama Wookie's here. Here are your winners, the Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah. Once again, yeah, no, Mama Wookie's sitting right next to me. Display of offense of the she's Brothers. just she's feeding the llama right now. And uh, talking to so one Miss Sophie. Take a look at this. Boom! Tyler Breeze face first. That's a ring apron rhinoplasty. And here we see some tandem offense. If one of them's not scary enough, the two of them together might um, What do I think is going to happen in Braun Strowman and Caden feud next? Well, hopefully. No, that feud ain't over. Hopefully, this is going to lead to him retiring. I'm really hoping so. Flash of champions. Highly hazardous to your health. Rowan and Harper. Okay, so don't forget to bring them home on Friday before break. The future holds more bludgeoning. More pain. More I would put fear. I would put Hunley the in for the final two. The um, I think beginning. technically they're still going to be quote unquote the in the Harper hunt because Seattle Rowan. lost today. Bludgeon brothers, <laughs> and that doesn't strike fear into your heart. You better check your pulse. Do you have anything for me to sign? Saw four tag teams tear each other apart earlier tonight. There is one major threat. Uh, I think mathmat. I don't know. Are they mathmat? I think I don't know if they're mathematically out. Tomorrow night, a controversial ending. Strowman and Kane both Let me see. Lost. Who is gonna? Uh. What's the math? Yeah. I mean, it's it's over for them, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, I just want to see the standings. Come on, man. I don't need it right now. Arnaz? Mm -hmm. Hey, Arnaz, how are you? So, I mean, technically... Hi, Chauncey. The Packers are in the running still. Crazy as that sounds, technically they're in the running still. You gotta give me a minute. Sammy, earlier tonight, Daniel Bryan said that he made himself a second referee in order to protect the Yes, integrity that is correct. Alive. So we However, don't know yet. Shane McMahon believes that he has ulterior motives. What is this? Ulterior motive. Is what that what he thinks? Yeah, what is this? Law and order? Where'd you get that word, ulterior oh, motives? That sounds, sounds really yeah, cute. Look, it's, it's really cute of Daniel Bryan to frame it that way. But look, we know why he made himself. Well, thank you guys for coming out. It's you guys we, that we, we understand I come out motives, for. Don't we? Talk to all you. Have See, some fun. Daniel Bryan's the only reasonable Ooh, thing Niners about fans. Live. She has absolutely You're not having a good year this know. year. But it's okay. Why he made the second why, why he made himself as a second referee. Moreover, we also know why last week when the ref was incapacitated, he made himself referee and counted the one, two, three to give Kevin Owens the victory. We know. Well deserved victory, might I add. See, it seems like people tend to forget that. Shane McMahon has a clear history of screwing me over when he's the special guest referee in my matches, just like he did this past summer when he made sure to ruin my opportunity Woo, to take 230 back in the London. United States title. You remember? Disgusting is the right word. Disgusting. Disgusting. See, Daniel Bryan Disgusting. knows. Hazel says hi, honey. Will you tell Hazel right here, hi for us, James? This is A-plus talent. A-plus hey, talent. Cream of the crop. And all he's doing is making sure that tonight is a fair fight. And because of that, I'll tell you one thing right here, right now. The Sammy and Kevin show is not getting canceled anytime soon. And more importantly, the YEP movement rages on. 
Yep. Thanks, gentlemen, but what if you don't win and you're fired from all of WWE? Center in Philadelphia in six weeks on January 28th. Tickets are available now, and with that great oh, I'm back, I'm back. Road to WrestleMania, Royal Rumble every year, one of my favorite events. Miss Wookie, you look Rumble beautiful. So unpredictable. It's going to be an awesome night for sure. And of course, you can see it all. You right are beautiful on the WWE Network. And speaking of which, Byron, our next upcoming match may eliminate two superstars. Oh, excuse me. From even competing in the Royal Rumble match. Yeah, literally fighting for their job, fighting for their oh, livelihood. Will this be the final night that Kevin Owens? You a champion? Show me you a champion. Tell my brother to stop playing games, please. Um, stop playing games? I guess. I don't know. Oh, that sounds like fun, Johnson. Kevin Owens. The Chauncey guy. Um, him and he, his dad and him went to the Kevin Lions Owens game yesterday. Ooh. Yeah, forget about us ever going to a Packers game. Oh, my God. Let me remind you that it was Sami Zayn. I wish we could go to a Packers game. Dude, Packers match. games would be the shit. Yeah, it would sure be so cool. Uh, Wookie and Mama Wookie, what's your favorite title belt design? <laughs> Honey, what's your favorite title belt design? I liked the glow. And let me you like the glow belt? That those two yeah, individuals that was nifty. betrayed the entire SmackDown roster. What are they doing? Uh, my favorite title belt Pedigree. is actually the uh, old school the Raw Attitude Era title. That's my favorite title. That at Survivor Series, he led Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. Wubba Lubba Dub Snub. Too well, sweet, Luke Birch. I was about to say, actually, quite easy. I'm going to deliver two words to you guys. Your um. Hold on, Shane. Hold on. Shit. Yeah. What matches do we I have think left? I have a better Jesse Face brings solution. up a good point. Uh, one on one matchup between Randy Orton and Sami Zayn. However, Kevin Owens is handcuffed to the bottom ring rope. Boom! Oh no 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 no! no look out! Sami I want to say we have a couple Sammy more matches, but no, we have uh. So that's it. You're done punishing them, right? We have, uh, we still got Jinder and, uh, Jinder and, um, oh fucking God, Jinder and AJ are still got to come on. And, and this man. Oh, yeah, you said WWE title. My bad, Tom. I didn't see that you said WM. So, yeah, what's going on, Ray? What's going on, Tiffany? Yeah, well, it is what it is. I think they should have just kind of let Hunley take over for the rest of the year and get us a decent draft pick and, and call it a day. You know, you, you had to know, even if they would have won today, it was still such a fucking long shot for them to get into the, into the playoffs. So, dumb. Dumb on the Packers, Packers part. What's going on, William? All the way from France. What's going on, my man? You know why he made himself Ooh, Big Gold's a good championship, though. Big Gold is a good... Didn't he say WWE Shane championship? Worst Big Gold's a good championship belt, though. Yep. Not that Shane wouldn't, but I am going to make sure that your match this Sunday uh, is fair. 
There yeah, big goal's a good. Big, if, if, when I was, remember, if you and guys go way back with me, remember when I was trying to buy a, a replica belt? That would have been the belt we would have bought, was Big Gold. I I do love it. I'd probably actually have to say I like that one better than the Attitude Era belt. But I, I love, I that's the belt we would have bought. Wookie, can you say hi to my little brother? What's going on, Arns' little brother? Wubba lubba jub dub! Here comes the money! Um, Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our first special guest referee for the next match, SmackDown Live Commissioner. Mommy and Daddy Wookie, I will call you guys the Wookie Club. Well, I'll give you a two sweet. I don't know if we're calling ourselves the Wookie Club. But what's that? Oh, that's fine with Sophie. Will be the last time we ever see Kevin or Sammy. I, for one, don't agree with the tactics. I have a feeling you're going to see some shakeups after this year, Luke. If we miss the playoffs, there is always, buddy, there is always shakeups when the Packers don't make the playoffs. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, big golds. Big golds definitely up there. I, I would tell you if I'm buying one championship. And I had to pick one. It would. It would. It would be big gold. It is betting time. You guys are actually 100% correct. I want to know. We saw earlier on tonight. There's still still dissension between Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan. I think there is a serious lack of trust for Daniel Bryan. And just like I said on Tuesday night, I think that Daniel Bryan went out of his way to help the team of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Well, luckily, Daniel there Bryan you guys go. Bets incoming. Ten minutes to bet. Get your bets in Talk now. Corporate stooge. I think Daniel Bryan's doing what's best for SmackDown Live. I hope Bryan's he does. Okay. With the shoulder. Okay. Good. Get that shoulder looked at, man. And seizure warning. I love that. Well, normally what, what would happen is you fire the uh, GM, and then the new GM will hire, will fire the head coach and his staff. That's normally how it goes. Dude, they're so lucky nobody's had a seizure from his entrance. You don't know if they have or not. I guess. You think you'd hear about it, though, like such and such had a seizure. Like, no, that would have been reported. If somebody would have had a seizure off of his entrance, his entrance would have changed. Guaranteed. Well, I don't know if you'd have a choice and complaint. You're having a seizure. But not all seizures I like to do. No, not good. God, what's sad is I think Shinsuke's eating this pin. Ready? Can you just deal with me? The artist known as Shinsuke hey, man. She walked away. The squared circle is his business, and combat is his art form. That's fine. I'm not asking you to do that. Come here. Do you have your clothes ready? That was blown up by Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn. Nakamura wants a little payback here tonight. You can't underscore how much payback Nakamura um, wants. He had friends. He had family in Japan. Okay. I, 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 I can't tell you what's going to happen because here's the deal. The whole thing with Green Bay is these, man, these men brought a championship here. You kind of have a job for life in Green Bay. Like, look how long we dealt with Favre, even though you all knew Favre wasn't doing shit. But look how long that man had a job. It took a whole new coaching staff to come in to be like, dude, are you coming back or not? And then all of a sudden it was like, yeah. And then he's like, I retire. Oh, wait, no, I don't retire. And they're like, well, you're going to have to fight for your job then. I don't like his hair. I don't know what caused. Uh, he was looked much better bald. No. 
Now watch this right here. Here's what I want to see. Better. Randy Orton. No. Yes. Disagree. Confrontation between Randy you're Orton wrong. And Daniel no, Bryan. you're wrong. It was years ago when Daniel Bryan was pursuing the world title. He had Randy Orton as a constant thorn in his side. Randy Orton was a constant obstacle to Daniel Bryan achieving his lifelong dream. I want okay, to know if uh, Daniel gets Bryan out of the basket. can truly be impartial in this match. Right, and if you spent as much time doing research as you've been doing trying to smear Daniel Bryan, you would know. Bygones are bygones. Randy Orton offers no ill will. What? Will they ever be best friends? Probably not. But Daniel Bryan's That's out here said. to make sure that Kevin Owens and Sami yeah, Zayn are not unjustly the dismissed. Are you That's sure? It. Are you sure no, about that? Then just get yourself. Okay, well, not okay, not pure bald. I mean, you you know what I mean with that little shaven shit he had. No, this is much better. His agent of dispatching Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Owens and Zayn have accused Randy Orton of being a puppet, a la what is going on with the McMahon family for years. <laughs> oh my god. Read Gary's comment. I did. I disagree. <laughs> put Kevin and Sammy in a whole different category. for impartiality, wow. Byron. Shane McMahon's out here applauding Nakamura and Orton like they're best friends. And their opponents, the team of Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. What's the worst He's finisher in WWE right now or of Ryan all time? He's proving himself rather to be the second special guest referee in this match. Remember Streamlab donations get a thousand extra coins along with everyone in the chat gets an extra 250 coins. Thanks, Mama Wookie. It started when Kevin Owens attacked the 70 year old chairman of this company. Everything Owens and Zayn have done, they have set the table for the repercussions they have faced. Ooh, you know, is there still Jeremy snow here, Tiffany? I still got snow. What's up, dude? I believe that KO was incredibly valuable to WWE and SmackDown Live. I think the R but uh, we're on the street, and it's going to be like 30, 30 degrees out. Mama Wookie, who's going to win? But you, you, are, you already gave your she she already gave her predictions earlier in the show. You chose you chose Nakamura and and Nak Nakamura and Orton to win. Yeah, but thank you very much, John Davis. Too sweet with the bow. You get the bow. Thank you very much for hitting that subscribe button on our road to four thousand subscribers. Luke, where are we at with that tonight? Where are we at with the four? Are we getting close? I don't know. I feel like we're, we're getting close. We got another one popping in. Step Brothers Vlogs. Too sweet with the bow. Thank you very much. Getting closer and closer and closer with Death Unlimited. Also hitting the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. Too sweet to you. With the bow. Thank you very much, guys. Hitting that subscribe button. But uh, yeah, once Lukey, once Lukey will get around to it, he'll tell, he'll tell us where we are on that road to 4K. Cause, uh, Cause we want to be, uh, we want to be like a TV screen all up in that 4K. Both referees already. <laughs> that was awful. I'm time. sorry. I'll never do it again. I suppose that's some sort of unique. <laughs> look at it. I mean, it's yeah. the commission. 3967. Where does that put us? 33 away. Tell your wife. Tell your brother. Tell your family. Tell a wrestler. Territory that we're seeing. You just and made the list. Well, I love you too, Ray Alex. This tag team Ooh, we got Zaisha Tinker Zane hitting the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Too WWE. sweet. And now. So the, if there's a cover in this match, who's going to count the pinball? The link is just posted for donations. I mean, I, eventually we're going to get that answer, Corey. <laughs> You've just been I mean, out here singing the praises of what a great what? idea this is. This could be completely Same. chaotic. This could not solve anything. Well, I didn't say this was a great idea. I didn't say it was a great idea to have Daniel Bryan as a, a second special guest referee. Nobody has won gender and styles yet because uh, it hasn't happened. Daniel Bryan said he's here to protect the integrity of SmackDown Live. Here's a cover. Both men into a cover. What the? What the? Yeah. The counts weren't weren't the same. They weren't even on the yeah, same I don't pace. I think Sammy and KO are losing. I don't know how this is supposed to work. I'm sorry. No, no, no. 
I think uh, I think Nakamura and Randy are losing. My bad. If you're Randy Orton or you're Sami Zayn, what's going through your who's mind? Who's winning? Right now? Winning's really a relative term, Royley. I'd love to tell you who's winning, but it's wrestling, so it's kind of a real relative term. Um, you know, RKO's out of nowhere and all that jazz. Get backed off here. You got to do it immediately, and Sami's got to be careful. He get himself disqualified. Randy Orton an opportunity. Maybe this is how they bring El Generico in. Maybe they lose, but then they come back, and it's El Generico as opposed to Sami Zayn. A tag made by Shinsuke Nakamura into this match. El Generico is Sami Zayn before he was Sami Zayn. Nakamura bursts on the scene on NXT. How the fuck does that work? Don't people know that? Well, yeah, but like the whole thing is like we're in on the joke, but nobody else is. That's that's the whole thing. Uh, well, thank you very much, Death Unlimited. I do try to get to everybody as as quickly as I can. What is fuck? If there is a no contest, literally double count out, nobody wins because we've had that here before. Resistance statement basically. The Yep movement continues to grow, and Sammy is just telling. Telling Shane, you're not going to get away with this. It's a fabricated movement to smear the name of Shane McMahon. Yeah, as long as I can actually read it and get to it, like sometimes I'll start, I'll start a comment I see in the chat, and then by the time I come back to the chat, like it's just completely gone. Diane, I leave the after show to Wrestling Soup. You guys can check Wrestling Soup out over on Mixler. Daniel Bryan, right there. Shane McMahon. Yeah, Shane in no hurry to stop Nakamura from damaging Sami Zayn's arm. Shane allowed Daniel Bryan to take the lead on the count. A tag made. Now Kevin Owens is legal for his team here. Oh, and look at Owens dropping bombs. Long history between him and Nakamura. Yeah, it's okay. What is that? What the hell are you touching me for? Wait a minute. Oh, and Nakamura. Thought he could try and take a shot there at Zane. Instead, Owens able to capitalize. That was interesting. Daniel Bryan is uh, yeah, really? taking charge to break the situation. Of Shane McMahon had to dive in. We're working together. I don't know if you're going to see it tonight, Leo. Nakamura was able to turn him around. But I, I definitely Owens think you're going to. If in. they lose, I'm wondering if you see El Generico. That that could be pretty cool. Nakamura I could I could get into that. Right there on the side of the face. Here's the cover. Careers at stake. Yeah, and again, <laughs> men's careers hang in the balance. Man, you guys are on fire tonight, Jazzy decision. Face. The definition of fuckery is the entire Here, McMahon listen, history of special guest referee. referee. We wouldn't be dealing with this. Bag made. Back in comes Randy Orton. Had Shane McMahon remained as the referee. Um, as, as far well, as I know, betting's over Kevin with though. Sammy, their pink slips. At least now there's an opportunity. There's a there's a, a, a bit of a fair fight, oh, or perhaps an advantage. And now Daniel Bryan comes in to get Randy Orton and Owens out of the corner. Oh. Now Orton, here's the cover here. Ooh, Dar again, who's winning, Darren? Bounce. Let us all in on the Never secret. Who's winning, man? a bit of an accord. Seems that Daniel wants to take half the ring and Shane will take the other half. Am I, a re I, I wouldn't call myself a Redskins oh, hater. From, I mean, I ain't rooting for him anytime oh, soon. Count it, Daniel, with a super kick to stay in WWE. Jan, US, uh, U.S. champion right now is Dolph Ziggler. What, what is Owens complaining yeah, about? I mean, the, the pounce seemed a bit sluggish. Oh, a honest. bit sluggish? Seriously? Or well, Kevin Owens believes that Danny Shane McMahon's had a vendetta against him since well, SummerSlam during what? his match. Are you Shane serious, Chauncey? to having a vendetta against Kevin and Sammy. It's not some made-up boogeyman that Kevin has in his head. Okay, but watch the performance of Shane here. That so can't far, be legit. Maybe they'll have an Orton heel turn and have him well, turn on Nakamura. You never know. Kevin Owens from taking another it's tough to say. It's tough to say. Come on, Sammy. Just a quick update for you guys before halftime. There's 14 seconds till halftime on Sunday Night Football. Uh, Dallas still leads the Raiders 10 to nothing. You want to try to take my job? Yeah. 
Um, I believe the best team in the NFL right now is the uh, Philly, right? 12, two, uh, 12 and 2. Smart move, Kevin trying to I believe, I do believe. Arafat Yassin hitting the subscribe button too sweet. Yeah. Governed by uh, and the bat. Thank you very much. Again on that road to 4,000. 4,000 subscribers. At last check, we were about what? We were like 30. Did I say 33? 33 away, I think. Yeah, last check, I think oh, I said we were 33 away. Tag made Sammy Zayn comes in. Well, I married a soulless Zane ginger, so. Zane and Kevin Owens premiered on SmackDown Live after the Superstar we Shakeup could very well be the <laughs> last building they compete in for part of WWE. How ironic would that be, Sammy yeah. Zayn and Kevin Owens? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, last just because you've each as freckle as is a WWE. soul you've eaten. Not a soul you, you have. We shouldn't even be at this point. <laughs> Get Bill no Glenn. Oh Zane my. Glenn is Villa Longa. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much, Glenn. Too like sweet. No, you just made the list. Appreciate it. And there's Jan hitting that subscribe button. Thank you very much, Jan. Too sweet. With the bow. Thank you very much. 4,000 tonight would be amazing. Luke, where are we at with that? Uh, are we going to close? I mean, obviously, we're a little bit closer. But uh, how close are we, Luke? And watch this one more time. I think that Sami Zayn and KO will win because of the 2018 shakeup. Or, well, Mama Wookie had a very good idea in that Sami Zayn and KO were gonna lose, but then Stephanie was gonna come out and be like, "You don't tell me how to run my company," and and she's gonna pick him up. Which I'm like, Ooh, that's not bad. That follows along with the bitch Stephanie line. That's not a bad. That's not a bad idea at all. All right, all right, all right. Am I getting better? How do you turn autocraft off? Somewhere in your settings? 3974. So what? We're roughly what? We're 26 away. What's going on, young nasty of the nasty nation? Nasty putting the two S's. <laughs> Mama Wookie says hello. Turn off your mic if you're not using it. Again, Orton has been isolated very effectively she by just tired? Zane and Kevin Owens. Attitudes aside, Yuck Sammy Nasty Zane with two S is putting the ass in nasty. No about that. Go follow him at Mixler.com forward slash get in the corner. On the dismount. Over on a tweet twat box, and Yuck Nasty, two S's. Right knee there, all the same as still in control here of Randy Orton. Fuck McCarthy Capers and Thompson. Trying to get to Shinsuke Nakamura. Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon right on top of this exchange here. Trying to get to Nakamura. Back body drop. And a belly to back suplex able to drop Sami Zayn. That the opening that Orton needs. See, Luke says gingers have no souls. Luke's a gingy. I don't know about you, Luke, but I have a soul. And there's the tag. It might be black, but I have a soul. <laughs> I don't know. This is one of the most interesting matches I think we've had in a while. That's really got my attention. Does Mama Wookie devour, devour souls like Shang Tsung for Mortal Kombat? I, I've never seen her eat a soul, so I, I couldn't tell you. Mama Wookie, you think Woken Matt Hardy will be back in the cruiserweight division? I think he's a little too heavy for the cruiserweight division. Yes, that's delete. Yeah, I think he's too big. Good vibrations. Will he come back as a heavyweight? 
probably. I think he's too big for. It's yes, it's 205. Hey, you're, you're getting good, Mama. I mean, you told me that your little theory today, and I was like, damn. I'm I'm going with uh, I'm going with KO and Sammy win. Nakamura eating the pen. Not mistaken, I think Shane was a little bit across the middle line. However, Mama Wookie says that. Uh, that Randy and Nakamura are going to win, although she's a little shaded because she loves Shinsuke Nakamura. She's just a little bit biased. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. No! You can't deny his awesomeness. No, I, I love Shinsuke. And look, Shane is going all out on these counts. If you say otherwise, you can suck it. I'll suck Shane even looks disappointed I mean, that there wasn't a three count yet. Look, there's no Be question nice Shane my Luke. wants Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn fired, but if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. It's true, though. Luke is an ass for the reverse exploder. Oh, Kevin so. Owens. <laughs> Just he can oh. be. And now shit's getting knocked him Oh, you give it one oh, month? Well, I guess it's been two oh, months already. Oh, shit. And they haven't even been in a match yet. Oh, oh boy. Oh, what's Shinsuke thinking? Da Darren, U.S. Oh, title oh, is now oh, held by Dolph Ziggler. There it is. I know, hard Kevin to believe. Owens, middle of the ring. Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan all over it. See Kevin Owens' face turning bright red. And Kevin Owens is trying to find a way free here the triangle. Wait a minute, no. shoulders okay. down here on Nakamura to kick out. Daniel. Shoulders were down. Oh, yeah. triangle. His shoulders were down. Triangle. Shoulders were down. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh. And a super Daniel. kick by Owens. Now the cover on Nakamura. A slight hesitation, but a kick out. Well, as yeah? you can see, Nakamura had the triangle locked on Owens. Oh, I'm always good they to Mama Wookie. I took her out on Friday, angle. showed her a good time. I even let her throw yeah, up on the side of the street. Being Daniel Bryan was Dude, obviously paying yeah. attention to that. Oh, we, we, we drank fire Daniel too Bryan much on Friday night. Oh, I don't know what was wrong with us. Oh, Nakamura is not somewhere he wants uh -oh. to be. Are the sk Daniel aren't Daniel the Helper. skins Nakamura. out of the playoffs? I don't think they can even get in. Can they? I don't think so. So, so close. Sammy and Kevin almost able to breathe that sigh of relief. Key word is almost. Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn still well aware their jobs are in danger. Their very livelihood is in danger. And now Sammy Zayn and Kevin Owens working perfectly together. You're the one who bought him. I don't buy pop tarts. Back. And now Owens into the cover. Randy Orton right there before the count of two. Um, where's my egg roll, y'all? Oh, of course they're going to argue. Look at but some of the frustration here now. Sammy Zayn is Cowboys, Cowboys do have a shot. They have to win tonight, though. Right now it's 10 nothing at halftime. So Cowboys definitely have a shot. They're still in the race. Pop tart. That's not a pop tart. Sam needs to be careful. He needs to show Shane the respect. Shane is the designated one of the two designated officials in this match. And Owens, oh, Shinsuke got the knees up. Couldn't connect with the senton there. That's a good night when you Two lose your cookies. Here in this match, back in the center of the ring, Nakamura mm -hmm. and Owens. Yeah. And now Nakamura. Did you hold her hair when she threw up like a gentleman? No, she had her Kevin friend Owens with her. So her friend was, uh, held up her hair for me. Did she hold my hair? Yeah, she held your hair for you. Uh, Absolutely. Oh, she was good to you. Early on in this match. Oh. Well scouted by Zayn. <laughs> Cowboys never had a shot. <laughs> Technically, they're not mathematically <laughs> out. Is, is, all I, is all I'm saying. Um, Joker, I'm going to say because you didn't sub. I mean, the only other thing you can't lean on that. The only other thing I can tell you is that if your account doesn't send an email, um, Streamlabs doesn't see it. And Sammy Zane able to buy himself a little bit of time here against Orton. Only a momentary reprieve, though. Can Sammy make something happen here? But I have one of the best things in the world. Now Sammy's going up to the top. This is a s'mores pop tart. Okay. These are by possibly the best pop tarts known to man. S'mores. Best. It's the brown sugar one. No, dude, those are gross. Or the Oreo. Or the Oreo ones are good. The cookies and cream one is good. However. S'more is better. Hey, Daniel Bryan scolding Randy, reminding him that's not legal. Orton better be careful not to get himself Mommy, disqualified. Mommy, no, don't need to prove that it's a s'more. Now Randy Orton okay, go right throw that after Sammy Zayn. It's empty. 
Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. I don't Shane understand. Seems to Mommy, I happened. tell my Where uncle oh, no. all the time you ain't going to make it. When he fucked up. Oh, he tells his uncle, like, you're not going to make it. Like, he's going to die. <laughs> See, I know. See, it happens to you in far between. Um, Amanda or Ryan, who can hold their alcohol better? I'll let Amanda answer that one. And Shinsuke and Owens outside the ring. I, I hold my alcohol way better than Amanda. Yeah. Way better than Amanda. I throw up every time. Thinking of you, I have not seen the full Last Jedi yet. I've seen bits and clips and pieces and blurbs and chunks. Um, I might go this weekend, depending on if Mama Wookiee lets me go. I'm not going to SeaWorld. I'm going to see The Last Jedi. She said Disney World. Oh, Disney World. We're not and going to Disney World. And if they donate World. enough money for us to go to Disney World, we'll look go. At yeah, Owens there you go. Just I want to figure out how to better brace a oh. wheel tractor shovel. I don't know. The officials are apparently letting everything go here. Oh, boy. Am I the best YouTuber? Are you the best YouTuber ever? I think you are. I don't know. According to my stats, it says no. PewDiePie is better than I am. I, did, I didn't oh. get to see the call. I'm sure I'll see it on Sports Center. I'm sure they'll play it like 19 kajillion times. No way, hot dog pants, dude. Brown sugar pop tarts are not better than s'mores pop tarts. It's just no, not a, not no. See, even Damon s'more pop tarts are better. Yeah, no, yeah. I puke every time. I, uh, yeah, Mama Wookie pukes every fucking time we go drinking. Well, I don't drink. Wall, Neither do I. Do anything I don't know about this English shit. Thinking of you, if we had the mo- if I had the money to take my daughter to Disney World, we'd already be there. Uh, are any of these we'd already be there. <laughs> but there's those little things Shaker like, you know, Nakamura. rent well, like and bills. Kevin Owens, Kevin might all that kind of shit. What was that about someone who can't handle their drinking face planting in a wall? Was it Tim Gay? No, it was, I don't know who the guy was, but it was like an older guy, Ellis Fester. Or Feaster? Fester? I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but thank you very much. Too sweet. With the bow, thank you very much for hitting that subscribe button. Again, on that road to 4,000. We're getting super close. I feel it in my boons. We're getting super close. Maybe we can break it tonight. we got another hour to go yet. Um, yeah, s'mores Pop-Tarts are awesome. Um, no. I'm lucky. But anyways, we, we were at the bar, and me and Mama Wookie were outside having a quick cigarette. And um, like a guy was like tried to was coming into the bar, and like he like I don't really uh, how, I don't know how to tell you this. He stumbled into the wall, and like it was so bad, like his whole body decided to move the opposite direction from his face, and his face smacked right into the wall. I must have missed that. Yeah, it was crazy. At that point, I was having a hard time standing. Uh-oh. Yeah, no, I, I know you meant Star Wars. Like I said, I've seen, I've seen chunks and blitz and blurbs, but I haven't seen the movie in its entirety. I'm hoping to go maybe this weekend. Maybe. Maybe I'll be taking Sophie. Oh, strawberry Pop-Tarts for the win. Ugh. Gross. No way, dude. Not better than s'mores. See, even Jamie says that's gross. What kind of cig? I smoke uh, Maverick Lights. Amanda smokes. Nothing. They made pumpkin pop tarts? Oh, they're probably all fucking sugar. Just straight fucking sugar. Sammy Zane, that's Daniel Bryan's side of the ring. 
Well, right now, um, Shane McMahon just screwed Sammy. Sammy pinned. Sammy legit pinned Randy, but yet he didn't put his hand down. Or he didn't, he went one, two, and then left it up. Now Sammy and Daniel Bryan are arguing in the middle of the ring. Randy ate the pin? No. Fucking Randy ate the pin. Buddy, Randy ate a fucking pin. I'm very upset. Oh. I understand where you're coming from, but I'm very upset. Look, I don't agree with what we saw from Shane McMahon earlier, but that pitfall was on Shane's half of the ring. His back was turned, and Daniel Bryan put in a fast No, that's not the We still got one more match to go. We still got uh, the championship match to go here. Holy shit. Dude, I thought if anybody was eating that pin, it was going to be Nakamura. Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. Shane didn't know it. Shane didn't realize and he took it out on Daniel Bryan. And there is no doubt about this one. I Sami agree. Zayn has the match won, and Shane McMahon Holy finally sh stops the count. It wasn't right. I agree. Okay, so turn your body. No, that does not count as fuckery. That's a win. A match that involves two guys' careers. You are literally contradicting yourself from I'm sentence to sentence. I'm not condoning Shane McMahon, and I certainly don't condone this. And then Randy Orton will try and take advantage in the chaos, and it was Sami Zayn, but watch how fast this count. Dude, what just happened? But it seems to me that Shane McMahon got beaten in his own game. This isn't a game between the referees. It's a game about who's going to survive. Yeah, 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 Shane McMahon yeah, 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 you have to wonder what Shane McMahon now is going to do about his general manager, Daniel Bryan. Oh, I did not see that coming at all. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and again, one more look at how quickly this... All the people are pissed. In this tag team match, and again, one, two, three, just like... Uh, Mike Evans fan, Sammy and KO just won, and Randy ate the pin. I totally thought Nakamura, if anybody was eating that pin, it was going to be Nakamura. And that turned out not to be true at all. And that turned out to be not true even, even, even remotely. That's crazy. Smackdown Live. Yeah, I, I tell me about this play, Tiffany. Everyone's telling me about it. With uh, I did pay out. Uh, number one, Sammy Ko. It it already happened. Uh, it happened a little bit ago. All right, I am going to take a small break here, guys. I'm going to use a little boys' room. I'll see you guys here in a minute. Luke, while I'm gone, uh, let me uh, give me a quick count on how close we are. So I'm going to turn it over, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Well, the news last week generated headlines around the world. Everyone is talking about this. A brand new first of its kind show with a unique mixed tag team tournament format. And you, the WWE Universe, will be heavily involved. It's the WWE Mixed Match Challenge. And it can be seen on Facebook Watch starting next month, January 16th, every Tuesday night following SmackDown Live. Now we're back out here at ringside. Uh, the place is a mess and there's still so much confusion. 
reaction after what just happened with Daniel Bryan. Why choose to do the fast count? And, and again, Shane McMahon, why not do the right thing in that instance? It's a shame all around. You know, Shane McMahon should have called the right down the middle. Shane McMahon should not have hesitated. And, and Daniel Bryan, just as at fault, should not have delivered that fast count. I think Daniel Bryan did what Daniel Bryan had to do to make sure that Kevin and Sammy had a fair shake. Otherwise, we saw Shane McMahon was ready, willing, and able to screw them both out of their careers. I think it was a matter of Daniel doing what he had to do. One way or another, there are going to be repercussions this Tuesday night on SmackDown Live in Newark, New Jersey. But this is still Clash of Champions. This is the night where all SmackDown titles will be defended. And then coming up next, our final championship match of the night. AJ Styles defends his title against Jinder Mahal. They will clash with 54 years of tradition at stake in the WWE Championship. Well, I think being the WWE Champion is the, the pinnacle of our business. This is what we strive to be as the champion. The boyhood dream has come true. Oh, hell yeah. The people's champ, The Rock. I am the best in this business. I'm the WWE Champ. They were some of the best as I hope to be one day. It is all about the most prestigious prize in the history of sports entertainment, Styles and Mahal, here on SmackDown Live. Manchester, England, what a night. You just made the list. Phenomenal four, he hit it, he hit it. Did something no one else done before in the WWE. For the I won the WWE Championship overseas. And the fans responded the way I hoped they would. Jinder Mahal is completely beside himself. When I lost the WWE Championship to AJ Styles in Manchester, I felt taken advantage of. I wasn't prepared for a match against AJ Styles. I was in the middle of a European tour. I was not feeling my best. I was not at my best. So AJ Styles got lucky. So he can play the blame game all he wants. The reality is that night I was better than him. AJ Styles knows that when I am preparing for my opponent, I am unbeatable. The sun has risen on a new era. The legend of the modern day Maharaja. For 170 days, I was WWE Champion. The most dominant force in the WWE. I brought class, I brought dignity to the WWE Championship. Class and dignity. Is class taking shortcuts every chance you get? That's not me. It's not what I do. People, they make excuses, especially my opponents. They say things like, you would never have became WWE Champion if it wasn't for the Singh Brothers. Samir and Sunil, what is going get on? God, get the Singh Brothers out of there! He wants to keep what he has, and I can't blame him for that. But I'm going to do it the right way. When he went about it all the wrong ways. Oh, look at this! Oh, oh my God, and Mahal just cracked Styles on the side of the face! People say that I am undeserving. I won the WWE Championship, not the Singh Brothers. And a clash of champions. I regain the throne. I regain my crown. He's not taking anything. I'm not losing that championship to anyone. What good is being champion if you're not willing to fight for it? Oh, and look at Styles! AJ Styles knows his days as WWE champion are numbered. Jinder, you call yourself the modern-day Maharaja. Maharaja, I am the rightful champion. A modern-day king. I'm a soldier. I'm a warrior. You want my WWE Championship? Come and do battle.
Tonight, Jinder Mahal could not be interrupted from deep meditation in preparation for this match. However, Samir and Sunil, the Singh brothers, did deliver a message that they are very... You very just made the list! ...in the modern-day Maharaja, and even went as far as to say that Jinder Mahal doesn't need our help to beat AJ Styles. So that Jinder Mahal defied the odds and shocked the WWE Universe once before. There is really no reason that Jinder can't do it again because this is a more aggressive, more dangerous, completely different Jinder than the, one, the guy that won the WWE Championship the first time. I agree with you, Corey. Jinder Mahal is a uh, night and day better than he was the first time he was in WWE. But you gotta also look at this as a situation where Jinder is putting extra pressure on himself. Jinder Mahal has backed himself into a corner. You said you weren't ready the last time you faced AJ Styles. You said you weren't prepared. Now Jinder Mahal has to deliver. Well, some competitors thrive in a Hold on. swim environment. That's exactly what this is for Jinder. If Jinder can dethrone AJ, he will be right back. Accepted as the modern day Maharaja to the one. All right, guys, we're back. Of the of India. I can't believe it's Sami Zayn and Kevin kept their jobs by defeating right here. Dude, I champion Jinder won that title. Woo! He went out and bought himself a twenty thousand dollar Rolex watch. He was hand gifted a, a ten thousand dollar handcrafted carpet. He wants all the material. Oh, that, that, that match took a lot out of me. That last match, well, it sure did. I was like, what the fuck? After this match concludes, immediately following the Clash of Champions pay-per-view only on the WWE Network, join us for Talking Smack. SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair plus the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Usos, will be joined by the WWE Champion. Whoever that may be in the outcome of this match. Carmella did not cash in, Jennifer. You guys, oh, time's out on you guys. That was ten. That was a quick ten minutes. I'm guessing this is the last match. Um, I mean, it would make sense for this to be the main event. I have what? I have eaten. You ate. Oh, have I eaten? I no, I haven't eaten yet. I don't know. I'm really interested in what they're gonna do with Daniel Bryan now. In recent memory went down last month in Manchester, England. It completely rocked guys. The picture for the survival series pay-per-view. It took Jinder Mahal out of a matchup with Raw's Universal Champion Brock Lesnar. It injected the phenomenal AJ. All right, good thing, Leo. Glad your connection's working. Oh God, I, I hope you're right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's gonna get like 20, 25 minutes. Maybe we'll get some fuckery in all this nonsense too. It wouldn't surprise me at all if we got some of that fuckery. Ooh, I'm a big AJ fan, Lukey Luke. You know that. I'm a big AJ fan, but uh, the GOAT? E. I don't know if I can necessarily call the man the GOAT yet. Jericho um, Jericho will be on uh, New Japan on January 4th at 3 o'clock in the morning. So if you'd like to join me, and his opponent from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, he is the WWE Why would he be fired because of his daughter? Champion, the phenomenal AJ uh, betting already Styles. happened. Maybe it didn't. 
Oh, I didn't put it in. My bad, guys. AJ Styles is telling me how proud he was to be part of uh, this past week's tribute to the troops. I thought I did. Having grown up on a military base, it taught him the values of my bad honor, guys. Respect and hard there you work. guys go. Betting incoming. That he utilizes in his I thought I put the bet in, but I guess I didn't. Champion. You're not gonna find too oh, two in the morning. I'm sorry. Luke corrected me. It's Styles. two in the morning. I'm talking in the gym. I'm talking that's in the ring. That's better. AJ Still Styles goes for three hours. Redefined. And already the Singh brothers in the ear of Jinder Damn. Mahal, that grin yeah. on the face of the challenger. Damn. Could be looking to psych AJ Styles out. I don't, I don't think you're going to psych AJ Styles out. AJ Styles came into this match expecting the Singh brothers to be a factor. That's one thing we've AJ seen over the last few weeks only with scared Jinder by Jinder because of all his acting. I'm, I'm thinking about doing a Wrestle Kingdom live stream, Glue Sniffer, plans. yes. If I can get off on the fifth. When, it, when is all that? And Styles not backing down early. Uh, if First I can get off that Friday, because it, it happens on the fourth. Right on the other side. That's what so Styles yeah, if I can get off that day, yeah, yeah I'm thinking about doing right. a New Japan I stream. AJ Styles has a capability. I, I do WWE have the New Japan Network. Time, so. Provided he can get past Jinder Mahal, I'm telling you, I know it's still a dark horse pick, but I think Jinder stands a very, very good chance of beating AJ tonight. Yeah, of course, Jinder stands a good chance, and I, I think AJ Styles has a healthy respect for Jinder. Oh, he understands Ooh. how much of a, a little the stiff there, Jinder. Heavy elbow there, right to the side of the face. Oh, Styles is battling a man who's a perfect five and zero oh in WWE title matches on pay per view. Oh God, really? They gotta be like, oh, he's perfect five and zero oh. on WWE pay per view matches. He's only been in five. Yeah, but I like how they're like, oh, he's in five and zero oh in WWE title matches that are on pay per view. That only happens on Sundays. <laughs> you know, like what a, what a stat. Mm -hmm. What a dumb stat. AJ is oh, only afraid of Jinder's acne. Left leg of Jinder, but after the hamstring, that back acne. Woof. Woof. Uh, what do I want for Christmas? I don't know. There's the chat he wants to be with his daughter. I mean, so she's like six months old or something. Oh, I don't know. Like, you'd think if he was going to take time off, he would have done it already. Um, shit. Um, Daniel Bryan. He just had a daughter, so. But yeah, you would think if he wanted to take time off, he would have done it. I'm not sure. Styles able to keep him at bay, back inside, and again, right on the leg of Jinder Mahal. Take away the legs of the much bigger fighter. Going to make it very difficult down the stretch. Identify the target area and don't let up. But I don't know what I want for What do I want for Christmas, honey? And Styles is already... An, uh, an SM7B, but that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I know you're like, oh, maybe I can get you an SM7. No, you can't. It's a $500 microphone. Or $400. One of the two. E either way, it's not going to happen. And Jinder's still favoring the left leg. I'm, I'm wondering. He's got a moment here against Styles. Uh, yeah, four hundred dollar Mike. Accelerates so quickly. Uh -oh. Reverb has it for three thirty. And you can get it from Alto Music for three seventeen. Oh no! What is Mahal oh, no. thinking? I have no idea. Oh no! No no! Uh, Jinder Mahal! Oh, oh no. man! Hanging up Styles on the ropes. Styles sent rib first across the top rope and bounced. <laughs> All the way to the floor. says, I might get up for that, that show. Screw watching my kids. That's what that's Look at this. <laughs> oh. Man, it, it behooves Jinder Mahal to get AJ Styles back inside that ring. AJ might have suffered some... Yes, Diana, I, I, I have a full-time job that I do. This is not a... This is more of a hobby. For me, this is not a full-time job. I have a job that uh, that pays the bills. Birdie Joe, what an awful name! That poor child, poor poor child. Yes, all my videos of Corbin match. No, uh, wrestling Night Quill went on first. Thank God. And uh, Corbin lost, which means he's going to get a title push, which is sad. But yeah, all, all these videos are demonetized. It's the only way that I can bring it to you guys in the format I do. 
is to demonetize the video. So. Mama Wookie just wanted to make sure you guys knew it. All the videos demonetized. Donations help. If you don't say it, they don't know. They, it, it pops on the chat every so often. But it doesn't say that it's demonetized. I would have thought that you would get money from it, but you don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not going to read it aloud. No. But I'll let you read it. Ew. He's not wrong. You can take out a rib or two for that. Oh, well, that's, that's all. Mama Wookie, what's your favorite hobby? Um, well, photography, but that's... No, work in progress. Yes, yeah, work in progress to be a job. So I'm going to first uh, school for that. Right that um, Gotta wonder if AJ I like to crochet and artsy crafts. Uh, oh, artsy fartsy stuff. Artsy fartsy stuff. <laughs> 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 Crafty stuff. Just to let you guys know real quick, <laughs> Sunday Night Football, Cowboys 10, Oakland Raiders 7. So we got ourselves a game now. Uh, Oakland is driving third and nine at the Dallas 21, so they're at least getting a field goal on this bitch. Once again, out to the floor, the feet of Samir and Sunil. The official trying to back off Jinder Mahal here. Yeah, I don't understand how Joe Cronin gets donations because he's a kind of a dick to his audience, but whatever. Styles going shoulder first, and now right here in front of us, that change of complexion. Oh, God. AJ Styles once again ribs first into our broadcast tag table. which tag Kyle team match bat night are you talking are you talking tag team championship, the championship match are you talking the Nakamura and uh, Nakamura Randy and KO Sammy match the power of Mahal using the environment I think what we may be seeing is Jinder Mahal somehow out strategized AJ Styles before this match do I think Chicago will make it 0-15 right next weekend? Ring, Doesn't Chicago have a win? I mean, I agree with you, Corey. I mean, uh, Jinder Mahal has been one step ahead for the majority of this match. I think you mean the Browns. Jinder now trying to exploit the, uh, Not Chicago. Injured ribs. AJ Styles with cross space there. No. Come here, JJ. Uh, anyone will tell you, if you're suffering a rib injury, it's hard to walk. It's hard to breathe, let alone compete. Yeah, just wait till he gets hit with that charge back. Break Jake that. Hurt. Break that in half. This is the mechanical. Oh. Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter how uh, tag team, team championships went to the straight. Usos. Mahal cannot let the crowd Jake get to his head here. He's got to stay on track. And now it's this kind of pace, guys, that helped Jinder Mahal become a WWE champion over the summer in the first place. Jinder Mahal looks laser focused, right to a body scissors. Great strategy. Every time AJ exhales, Jinder's going to tighten his grip with his legs and just squeeze the breath out of the champion. Oh, Oakland just kicking the field goal, 10-10 now for you guys. Oh, I get what you're saying. So will Chicago beat the Browns to make them 0-15? Um, probably. The Browns are really bad. <laughs> They're really bad. Hurt these ribs here a second time. U.S. Oh, champion is uh, Dolph Ziggler right now. AJ might have a fractured rib or two right now. Oh. It wouldn't be surprising at all. And look at AJ Styles right back after the leg that he targeted in the early oh. going of this match. Big right hand from Styles. Oh. Just Styles in Women's the championship Styles is still Charlotte Flair. She retained tonight. Striking. Tenacity we mentioned earlier, AJ Styles doesn't know the meaning of the word. Yeah, that kind of money would be nice. Not no not what's going on for me though. Oh, once again, right to the abdomen. Every offensive maneuver that Jinder Mahal has delivered has been targeting AJ's ribs. This is a brilliant game plan by the Maharaja. Oh. So, much is made about the stamina so it's been pretty much AJ all Styles, gender, point, which has got to make me that think that at some point in time, AJ is getting a comeback. Does he get the belt, though? Brown, yeah, Browns need a new everything. Well, 
Kaiser is not bad. Right now, Jinder is in control, Kunian. That's that's the best I can give it to you. And winning is a very relative term in wrestling. Everything. Right to the ribs. Yes. I do watch basketball. Rich Swan is having a new WWE show that's called Two to Five Live. What a tackle by Mahal. And gentlemen, I, yeah, I, I watch right basketball, baseball, and football. I think that's the only, that's the only sports I watch, really, right? In any way Besides wrestling. Match. Absolutely right. You know, Jinder Mahal, unfamiliar territory here on the yeah. second row. Up top. Oh! I'm t I, I, I want AJ. I think AJ is going to pull it out. But I've been shocked before. We've only had one title change tonight. Which doesn't really scare me. But I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. What's going on, Yuri? It was funny when Jim Cornette called Joe Cronin a mark that lives in his folks' basement. My favorite college team, of course, is Wisconsin, the Badgers. Again, how costly was that for AJ Styles? Mahal rolls outside the ring. Of course, it's the Badgers. Man, I need fucking, I need Julio Jones to have a night. Antonio Brown without an injury tonight. So that kind of screwed me over. I need, I need, I need, I need Julio Jones to have himself a night. Around here, and now Mahal. Oh, great counters by Styles. Oh. And right to the midsection of Jinder Mahal. And now AJ Styles has found some win, perhaps, here in this fight. Uh, uh, favorite oh, NFL team is the Packers, here. of course. Phenomenal forearm. The ribs will hold up. Mahal is lined up. Going for it. Going up top. And oh. Oh. once again. I love me some AJ Sniles. Love AJ. I loved him in Japan. I loved him when he was in TNA. I don't even know if it was just stance, but Styles is in a bad way right now. up on the shoulders here. Wait, the Singh brothers, have they been kicked out yet? I don't know if the Singh brothers, are they still floating around those little fucking rats? Got to appreciate Who won? Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. Is Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn won that match. I'm tempted to boycott college football because Alabama. Dude, that pissed me off so bad. Alabama getting put into the to the to the playoffs, dude. Fuck that. But the phenomenal one continues to fight. You see uh, Jenner kind of limping there on that left leg. You know, might be tightened up on you him. like who you like. We've been Styles we've had some rough on. years here in Wisconsin. Remember, I'm a Bucks up. fan. We had a lot Styles of rough years. Up top. Oh, big right hand. Oh, I love, yeah, AJ Styles is definitely one of my favorites. Looks Take it easy, way. Yuck. He's controlled the majority of the match. I mean, there's no reason he's so oh. confident. Jinder is just pumping himself um, up Did Shane turn goes. heel? Yes and no. Shane did the one, two, and then raised his arm and then didn't come down for three. So, did he turn? Yes and no. Yes and no. I don't know if you can necessarily say Brian turned heel. Like, Brian did the right thing, so it was a face move. Does that automatically turn him heel? This buys AJ Styles some Oops. valuable recovery time. Yeah, but I don't know if all the time in the world is going to be enough for AJ tonight after all the damage that Styles has suffered in the rib cage. Dude, Every it's it's gotten to the point the Alabama's head coach took in like five percent of their vote for like governor. What's going on, Yuri? Gasping for air. Like, that's ridiculous when he's not even running and he gets 5% to the vote. Come on. If I could see anyone come back in 2018, who would it be? I would love to see RVD come back. I, I used to really love RVD. Yeah, and... Fight for what's his. Kenny in. I, I don't really know if he turned heel, or I'm sorry, Conlon. 
I've been saying your name wrong all all night. My apologies. Um, I don't I don't know if he turned heel. Like it's tough to say if he turned heel or not. Like I don't feel like he did. And now Jinder Mahal is I feel like he did the right thing even though damaged ribs. It was like for the wrong guys. I'm a hall. Oh, Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. He converted it. Try right. another round. Cover to retain his title and a kick out. How in the world did Styles pull that one off? AJ Styles, the veteran. Yeah, James Maybe Ellsworth was fired on the European the tour. Game. Just use so. I vote Nick Saban momentum. as governor of Alabama. No, you didn't. Don't don't even say a silly thing like that. What's going on? Thank you very much, Alex, for the kind words. Well, she said anybody. I mean, that doesn't mean that like it all has to be plausible. Oh, dude, he's not getting it. Yeah, I know he's not getting it. So R V D would be my guy if I got if I got anybody. Um, yeah, no, I, I know, but she, she gave me the choice if I could see anyone in WWE again. Um, who would it be? And, and that, that's my choice. I want to see the fade come back in 2018. I don't think Kenny Omega's coming to WWE. In fact, I hope for Kenny Omega he's not coming back to 2018. Um... I've heard about Batista possibly coming back. It's not about I don't. Right now, I don't I think CM Punk's coming back anytime soon. Right I just don't. Catching his breath. His body's racked with pain, and AJ can't even take a deep breath to recover. But for suplex and oh, back elbow, here's the cover. Styles could put him away in oh. a kick out. This could boil down to AJ's years and years of experience um. around the world. Different styles, with different Shane and Bri yeah, Shane and Brian were arguing like the AJ whole match, damn near. At this point I would like to survive. see Stone Cold come Those back. That'd be fun, even if it was just for a Rumble entrance. WWE, but yeah, can you find that? One I could get, I could get behind that. that. One big offensive maneuver to secure a victory. Um, what do I expect to happen? I don't got a lot of expectations. I think this is kind of the reset button, and then we're going to be building the Royal Rumble. You gotta call an audible. You gotta figure something out. Oh, oh. Oh. Ring your bell. oh man, why would you want Taker to come back? I mean, if you watched his last match at at uh, WrestleMania this year, yee, that was rough. In ring acumen of Jinder Mahal on display. Mahal has had an answer for everything here in this match. Now back oh, on oh, Styles. Oh, Look no. at the power. Oh, no. Oh. What do you think is happening between Nia and Enzo? Well, right now they're trying to keep Nia as far away from that main title as physically possible because they just don't want her anywhere near it because obviously she should be holding it right now. But they, they want her as far away from that thing as possible, so they're going to send her into a little, hey, Enzo. Hey, Enzo. How you doing? And she's going to kind of play the China role. I, I think, personally, she's going to kind of be like the China role for, um, like, remember Eddie Guerrero in China? I think she's going to play that China role. Oh, what's going on, Caden? Long time no see, brother. Why is Cody Perfect making time, big bucks in the South. Indies? In I have All no idea. For a second time. I can't yeah, believe he's he, he, like people Looking love him and he's as big as draw as he is. I think he really and rests on on that oh. name, that Rhodes name. I think he again. really sits and hangs on oh. that. Well, yeah, he's returning for Raw's 25th anniversary. But I mean, I think it's going to be more of like a speaking role, and that's about it. I don't, I don't that's think he's doing much Jinder for like being a wrestle right again. But I think it's just kind of like a memento type thing. Maybe they announce his induction into the Hall of Fame there. You know, give him a proper goodbye. Did the Giants coach get fired? Yes. That cre creepy looking fucker got fired like three weeks ago or two weeks ago. Every blow to that rib cage. What does Mahal have in mind here going up to the top turnbuckle? We've seen Jinder's ever expanding bag of tricks. Oh, you thinking oh. about a collapse um, on the I, I think that you with Enzo Amore, she's gonna Russell play. Styles trying to get, oh, and the 
I think that when you when it comes down to Enzo, she's going to play right. Remember Eddie Guerrero in China? How that was? Um, I, I think she's going to play that role. Hacksaw Jim Duggan will be in Royal Rumble. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Bringing Jim Duggan back. He's still wrestling and out and about. Who do I? Uh, well, I'm 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 all in Team AJ right now. Last ditch effort. I'm all about Team AJ. Trying to suck up the pain. It's this been a little a while on daddy AJ. duty now. Can he do it? Oh, no, no. Not oh, sure what you mean by that. Splash, but Styles can't make the cover. Too much damage to the ribs. <laughs> he's telling you he's got a headache. Is away if you can somehow just crawl over to Oh no. The Singh brothers are trying to drag But what's going on Dario? CM Punk won't come back and besides he's fighting. No, 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 no. be easy on that one Sam. I don't know if he's fighting again. Styles Clash. Put him in the Styles Clash. What are you talking about? AJ Styles is about to hit Styles Clash. I'm talking about the interference of the Singh brothers. The involvement of the Singh brothers. I think you're right, Yusuf. I'm I'm thinking that Shinsuke is going to win the Rumble, and that sets up Shinsuke v. Styles at 34. I would I oh. I know it's not going to come anywhere near the Wrestle Kingdom 10 match, but well, we can all hope, right? Oh, I got sorry. I was ignoring you guys for a little bit. I got a little nervous in the chat. Uh, which women superstar do you like? Um, honey, who do I like? I like Asuka. Asuka's my bae. Charlotte, yeah. Razor Ramon comeback. Ooh. You know, I don't know if you've seen any of his indie work he's been doing. He don't look so hot. Everything that... Who do I like? I told you guys, if I could pick one person, and it could be anyone, it would be RVD. I want to see RVD back. I know he can't come back, but I want to see RVD come back. Who's my favorite Hall of Famer? Well, it's, it, for me, it's got to be Stone Cold. I love Stone Cold. I love Macho Man. Um, is TNA now Global Force Wrestling? It was for a little bit. Calf Crusher. Calf Crusher. Calf Crusher. Roll him through. Make him tap. Fuck yeah, guys. Too sweet. What an effort. What a performance by AJ Styles. He's somehow, some way. Are you talking about just incredible stealing money from that from that British ring or that British Fed? Both soldiers. Styles referred to himself as a soldier. Jinder wanted to be the king. This was so apropos. I have never been to an NFL game in person, no. Never, not once. Packer tickets are tough to come by. You need to be like in the know. Like you got to be connected to win to get Packer tickets. Oh, AJ Punk versus or, uh, AJ Styles versus CM Punk. That would be a good match. 
could not capitalize for the three count. Styles are gone for Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles, that would be a good match. Finally got the ball and they paid for it. AJ had no choice but to rid himself of the Sting can't well, I I'd like to see Sting come back. But I know, see again, it's like they they treated Sting so dirty when he was here. When he was in the WWE. Like he should have had a title run. He should have never have jobbed a Triple H. Like straight to the middle of the ring doing Um Demon Dog, I think it's over. I think we're ending fifteen minutes early. Yeah, we're gonna end this fifteen minutes early, it sounds like tonight. Yeah, Savage, I think this was the main... I'm pretty sure this was the main event. Ooh, this guy just shit said, oh shit, Balor just came out. I don't think so. I'm watching live with you guys, unless you're a little bit ahead of me. Finn Balor is my husband. <laughs> No, you have he to fight. is mine. You're gonna have to fight Mama Wookie for Finn Balor. Mm -hmm. Oh, she has right. She, Mama Wookie already has have a husband. It's Daddy Wookie. All well, right, he is guys. My fictional husband. Holy he shit, is isn't it? It's husband. been a fantastic Daddy. night. Thank all you guys for coming out. All you guys who hit the subscribe button. Have all you guys night. who hit the like button. I'll see you fucks tomorrow. Hi. Don't forget. Go over and hit up Wrestling Soup over on Mixler. Those guys, I'm sure, will be going live here in just a few. That's where I will be. So go check out Wrestling Soup um, on Mixler. Let me I'm gonna put the link in there for you guys. So you guys can come, uh, come hang out with me over here. Over in, uh, in the DTKC show uh, for Wrestling Soup. Uh, you want the final results from tonight? Ziggler's your new, new U.S. champion. Usos retained. Bludgeon Brothers won. Um, Charlotte retained her title. No cash in. Um, and see, now everybody's going to have to fight over Finn because Tiffany wants Finn now, too. Mm. No, he's all mine. Uh, <laughs> WWE Championship uh, testing, testing. was retained by AJ Styles. And I don't think think I'm missing anyone. Did I miss any matches, honey? I don't know. I think that's about it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Like I said, go check out DTKC Wrestling Soup. I'll be over there. We'll talk to you guys later and tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.